you to go for the IVF. Hmm. What do you want me to do to her this time? Do you want her dead? No, 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 no. Please, I don't want to kill anybody. Please, no, 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 no. Please, I don't want to stain my hands with blood. I want you to make her suffer. She must not have a child. She won't hear a cry of a child in her house. Never. I heard her mother-in-law has gone to marry another wife for her son. But that one is not enough for me. I want her to suffer very well. I want her to be humiliated in that marriage. What exactly do you want? I want you to make sure that IVF does not work. I will do exactly as you say. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know my price. Uh -uh. Admit, are you the one talking like this? Have I ever owed you for one day? Money is not the problem. I just want you to do a very clean job for me. Since her period, I don't want that IVF to work. That IVF must not work. I will do that mm -hmm. which you seek for. I was on the road. A dog said that I'm going to film. A dog said that I'm going to film. I saw a ball and you make them like a booboo. I feel like I was saying it. Call her name three times. Lucia! 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 Time after time, I keep wondering. If you are truly my mother, because if I am a man, sometimes I think, how can a mother be this wicked? Eh? Think about it. How can a mother be this wicked? Imagine if this girl was your own daughter. God forbid! Lucia can never be my daughter. For real? Lucia Mwanyaga, my own daughter. For what? Abumaga! Abumaga! I reject you! I reject you! Seven times. Amen. I reject you in my seven words to come. Amen. I reject you, my normal man. fair. Amen. You can never be my daughter. Never. You will not eat this food. Never. This food. Mama. I will not eat it. Did you just call me by my name? Give me money. One Venza, one GLK. <laughs> Be careful with friends. Yeah, man? 
Be careful. Be friends. Be careful. With friends. Lucia. 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 Be careful. With friends. Yeah, okay. Venza. Be careful, my friends. GLK, Venza. What has she done? What is her crime? What just happened? Who told that madman my name? God. Ma'am. Let's, let's do this later, please. Hello, babe, where are you? I'm on my... Wait, you sound tensed. Are you okay? I'm on my way to your boutique already. Is everything good with you? Look, just, just come. Hurry up, okay? I'm waiting. See you. Are you okay? Hey, what is wrong with her? Why is she sounding so tensed? What, what was that? Ma, are you okay? Excuse me. Mind your business. What happened? I don't know. Are you sure she's okay? I don't know. You didn't ask her. <laughs> wow. I can't believe what happened. You sounded very low on phone. What is it? You know, I, I am still in shock. I'm still trying to, to, to observe and understand exactly what just happened. Uh, please, Lucia, just take a deep breath. Calm down. Then explain to me what, it, what is it. Life is just so unfair to me. Uh, 
Hey, is it about the, the test you and your husband went to the hospital for? It didn't come out positive. After all the medications the doctor gave to you. This year, I don't know what I did wrong. I don't know what is happening to my marriage. I don't understand. Are you just going to sit here and whip up sympathy without telling me what the problem is? What is it? What is her crime? Nobody deserves this. Nobody deserves this. Nobody deserves to be treated this way. Sir, excuse me, sir. Sir. Here's a proposal, sir. It's ready. You can drop it on the table. Okay. Okay. Is there anything you want me to do for you, sir? Okay, let me get back to work. So, so are you sure you're fine? Is everything okay? I'm okay, I just have I just have a slight headache. Oh, uh, so let me let me quickly get to Sudrex. That should help with your headache. I'll be, I'll be back in a minute. When I and my husband finished with Dr. Michelle at the hospital, mm -hmm. he went to his office and I drove down here to the boutique. Okay. Reaching here, I parked the car, alighted. I was just about to walk into the boutique and a madman rushed to me, stopped me and demanded that I should give him 100 naira. Hey, man. It happened before. Okay. So he he asked me for hundred naira. It was weird. I didn't have hundred naira. He said he wanted to use it to buy a jeep. A jeep. Yes. So I, I couldn't find hundred naira. I gave him one thousand naira. Just as I was, I was about to leave, he stopped me again and said something very worrisome. What did he say to you? It was more like a warning. A madman warned you. Yes. He warned me to be careful of friends. Can you imagine? And the worst is that he called me by my name. Exact person. That is where the problem is. He wasn't specific. I, I don't understand you, Lucia. First, you said he's a madman. S secondly, you said he asked you for 100 naira. Then you gave him 1,000 naira. Mm -hmm. He now said he was going to use the 1,000 naira to buy two jeeps. Who is going to buy two? Who, who buys two jeeps with, with 1,000 naira? Who? I see. I'm surprised that you, of all people, will allow a mentally deranged person to control your feelings. Tina, you haven't been listening to me. I told you that this man called me by my name. He, he called your name. He called my name. Gina C. 
should know that these mentally unstable people, they just have this way of seeing things that we sane people cannot see. Their mental instability just makes them sort of extraordinary. <laughs> should I bust your bubble? What? I went to the market one day to get some things. Mm -hmm. Immediately I entered inside the market. Mm -hmm. Some group of people started shouting, Auntie Regina, come and buy something from us. So, ah, I turned and I saw the particular man that called my name. I said, Ogao, I don't know. How did you know my name? Because me, I cannot even remember him from anywhere. He said, no, he just guessed. And he guessed right. What I'm trying to tell you is that I am sure this madman just guessed and he guessed right. Now you are here, sitting and crying and whining like a child. I don't understand. I, I just felt this, this goosebumps all over me, the way he said it. It's just... It's See, please, 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 uh, please, Lucia, please, stop this. Don't allow a mentally deranged person start making you feel this way. It's not nice. Uh, it, do you know what? Enough of this madman wahala. Can we just change the topic? What was your test result? How did it go? Tina, please, I'm not just exhausted. I'm tired. Tired of what exactly? Tired of this miserable life of mine, of course. Chimu. Stop now, Lucia. See, Lucy, Lucy, do not allow your inability to conceive make you feel miserable. You are, you're just married for just 10 years. Just 10 years? You call 10 years just? 10 years of misery, 10 years of sorrow, 10 years of not being able to conceive, 10 years of not missing my period, not even for once, and you call it just, how can you call it just? I'm sorry, I'm sleep of tongue, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just tired, I just feel like ending it all, and I'm going to do it someday. And what? Don't just try it all. Don't just try it at all. Suicide is not an option. And what? Suicide is a permanent solution to a temporal problem. Don't do it now. Why are you talking? If you just kill yourself, if you kill yourself, know that I'm going to join you immediately. I will join you once you just die today. I will just die tomorrow. Know that. Because me, I'm, you're not going to leave me in this world alone. So don't start. I just said I'm on my way. Priscilla, you're disturbing me. I just said I'm on my way. She's ready to help. Okay. Wherever, however, Can I seem to wait for me now? Hello. Yeah, I just said I'm on my way. Get off my phone. Hello. What can I do for you? Um, can I get to meet you? My name is Kester. I'm not interested. Excuse me. Hey, 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 listen. You don't have to be arrogant about it. I mean, just a new friend, an acquaintance. That's all. See, you won't regret meeting Kester. A man like Kester, a man to be with. Trust me. And I just said, I'm not interested. Are you daft? I'm not. You don't have to sound that rude. You don't even know me. I just get to meet you now and you sound this one me. Okay, come on, darling. No, no, come on, let's meet. Mr. Kester, I do not care to know you. Excuse me, please. Harold, all the tests carried out on you and your beautiful wife shows there is nothing wrong with both of you medically. No trace of infections at all. You do not have low sperm count, which of course is the cause of miscarriage or infertility in most women. Okay. And Lucia here, do not have ovarian cysts. No blockage of fallopian tube. No hormone imbalance. 
Then what is stopping my wife from conceiving and carrying a baby in her womb for nine months and also giving birth like every other woman? What's stopping her? Uh, that is what I do not have an explanation to. She is perfectly okay. You two should be able to reproduce offspring. I can't fathom the reason she can't conceive. Doctor, I'm sure there is something. I'm sure there is something you can do for us. Huh? Yes, sure. What is her crime? Yes. For, for ten good solid years, my wife and I suffered in the hands of family members and friends. There is nothing they've not called us. A lot of people have humiliated us, called my wife barren. I, I, I mean, some even opined that that my wife is an old bandit. Oh, far from it. Lucia, you have to take it easy. We are going to find a way around this. When? Hmm. Doctor, I just want a baby. I want to give my husband a child. Since we got married, all our friends that were married at the same time, they all have children. One, two, three, four. I just want one, just one. Please help us. The tears in her eyes, pain in her heart. She never bears no grudge. She's ready to love. When time We have been friends since our university days. I trust God to sort things out. I know couples it took 10. 15, 20 years before they started recreation. God forbid. Amen. That is not our portion. I understand how you feel, Lucia. To some, it happens just like that. While some, it takes a trial of faith. At this point, I think I will suggest IVF to you guys. IVF. IVF. Yes. We suggest IVF to couples who cannot get pregnant naturally on their own. Doctor, I am not barren. Yes, my, my, my wife is not barren. I believe and I have faith that she can conceive. The more reason I suggest IVF in the first place. Let us try this and see how it goes. It takes. She's ready to help her. Wherever, whoever. What do you think? Well, Doctor, um, my wife and I will go home and we will ponder over it. Once we come to a conclusion, I will give you a call. It's okay. Just take your time. Nobody deserves this. Nobody deserves to be treated this way. This is no longer funny. I mean, something is wrong somewhere. Ten years without conception. I don't know who I offended. But I know someone is responsible for this. Someone is out to ruin my life. Lucia, my friend, you know sometimes we, we humans, we keep looking for a problem elsewhere. Whereas the person killing us might be very close to us. I don't know, but I've been meaning to say this to you. Are you sure Herod is not an aquatic man? What? Gina, what did you just say? Are you by any chance insinuating that my husband belongs to some sort of secret cult? Uh, 
I'm not insinuating you. I'm only saying the truth, the fact. Oh no, what I'm trying to say is that he's been getting richer by the day. Gina, please! Look, let this be the first and the last time you will ever say anything like this to my hearing or even to someone else. Oh, Aside the fact that we are friends, I will not take this from you. So what do you mean by that? I'm very sorry now. I was just overwhelmed by your problem. I'm sorry. I don't know what to think or say again. I'm sorry. Someone is doing this to me. Someone is doing this to me. Whenever, however, Why don't you take the IVF Dr. Mitchell told you about? Why don't you give it a try? I've seen a lot of couples, though. A lot of couples I know have given birth through IVF. <laughs> IVF is not for me. No. Just look at what you are saying. We are here looking for a solution to your problem. I am saying IVF is not for you. So IVF, see, see, I just feel you should go home and think about it. Then you will call me and tell me what your thoughts are. Okay? IVF is not a bad thing. Mama Nebula that is close to my office. She, she, she gave birth to Nebula through IVF. Huh? The other woman, that one that used to come too much, that her daughter, it was through IVF. Though the child is to misbehave, I don't know that is the idea. So. in her eyes pain in her heart she never bears no grudge she's ready to love whenever however wherever it takes she's ready to help wherever however whomever you are she will never, ever, ever disappoint Cause she's got a good heart Nobody deserves this Nobody deserves this Nobody deserves to be treated this way no, she don't deserve this. No, she don't deserve this. No, she don't deserve to be treated this way. Yeah. She deserves better. Day. I know. I know what you're going through. Have you forgotten that we're in this together? Baby, it's just been a roller coaster of emotions. I am fat out. I am tired. I'm tired. I just want my own children. I want I them. I know you want your own children. And I want you to believe that one day you will have your own children. When? Huh? When exactly? I want them. I want to hold them in my hands. I want to hold a baby. <laughs> I don't know when it's going to be. But I know that someday we would carry our own children. But I can't wait. I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired. <laughs> if you get tired, what happens to me? I draw strength from you. 
You're the reason why I'm still sane. So if you get tired, I will get tired too. And if I get tired, trust me, we will both mentally break down. I don't want us to get to that point, please. Our Heavenly Father in Heaven sees our heart and knows how dire we want children in His time. In His time, God will manifest. Yeah, 
The shows of her feet, to the top of her head. She is the epitome of beauty and grace. With tears in her eyes, pain in her heart. Wakey, wakey, baby. Good morning, baby. Good morning, my love. It's done already. I overslept. Yes, you did. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's because you had a very long night. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Yes, baby. <laughs> so, this is what you're going to do all day. Okay. You'll be in bed. You don't have to go anywhere. You need enough rest for the rest of the day. Baby. You know, I don't know how you do it. You just see my heart. I was just going to tell you. Mm -hmm. Baby, I am tired. I don't think I can make it to the boutique. And here you are just saying the exact same thing. We think alike. My man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. I have to run now, okay? okay. Take care of yourself. Remember, don't do anything strenuous. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you. Okay, baby. Have a lovely day, too. Beauty and grace With tears in her eyes Pain in her heart, she never bears no grudge. She's ready to love whenever, however, wherever it takes. She's ready to help wherever, however, whomever you are. She will never. Fine. 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 Well, my friend is not around. Yes, we haven't seen her today. Like, seriously? Yes. Why? I've been calling her, she's not taking her calls. Her husband came in earlier. He said she's not feeling okay. I'm not sure she'll be coming today. She's not feeling fine? Yes. Her husband said so. Hey, um, okay, maybe I'll just go to the house to see her. Alright. And take care of the shop. Okay. Bye bye. bye. Um, what about Ikoma? Is she around? Yes, she's at the back of the back of the Who is Auntie Gina? She has gone. So soon? Ha! You know Madame is not feeling fine now. She has gone to see her. Okay. Let me continue with what I'm doing. Oh, Olivia, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Thank you so much for yesterday. The medication you gave to me worked magic. I told you, sir. I'm glad you're back on your face, sir. All thanks to you. You're welcome, sir. All right. Yeah, come in. Ha <laughs> ha! Bachelor, 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 Have you taken your time to look into your secretary? She's so beautiful. My, you my. In a long while, I haven't seen anything as beautiful as this. What? Anyway, I trust you, you're a bad guy. You must have started digging. <laughs> I 
Are you searching for a wife, Oga? Hell no. I am still the king of bachelors. I'm not searching. <laughs> I thought as much. So what is this discussion for? You said your madam was inside. My madam are there inside my house. But I've been knocking, nobody's answering. I knock well, well. I've been knocking. Well, I knock very well. My madam are there inside my house. Lucia! Tapa. Lucia! Better help you if knock. Madam! Madam! Lucia! Madame. Lucia! Madam! Lucia! Who is that? Lucia! Who is that? It's it's me! It's it's me! It's Gina! It is so obvious that you have completely lost it. I don't understand. Listen. You are my good friend. If you look at that girl so close, you will see that girl has what you want to give you what you seek. What are you getting at? Oh, come on. Can you stop talking like a child? Put the pretense. You know exactly what I'm referring to. Why? Goodness, oh my goodness, Casta! I don't even want to believe what I am thinking right now. Are you in any way suggesting that I should start having an amorous relationship with my secretary? You're missing the point here. Listen, I am not asking you to marry that girl. If you look at that girl, that girl is active and beautiful. That girl can give you what you want. Listen, I know you're married. And your marriage has everything a man desires. But it's one thing that is lacking in that home. A child. Harold, a child. And for that, I should start messing around? Well, I'm not saying you should start messing around. Harold, you can get that girl pregnant and pay her to keep the child. Kester, Kester, like, how can you say this kind of thing to me? How can you look me in the face and say such? You are mocking my wife and I for being childless? I am not mocking your wife, you're making mistakes. Why would I make fun out of your, your, your unfortunate situation? You don't have a child and you need a child. A child is one of the most beautiful things you can find in any marriage. And you don't have it. And you're still here saying nonsense. I am giving you advice and it's you to keep to the advice and you're, you're, you're here reminiscing bullshit. Well, thanks, but no thanks. You need to say that again. Thank me again. I and my wife, Lucia, share a very serious bond. Whether I have a child or not with Lucia, I will not give in to this. I love my wife very much. And I'm sticking with her. Good or bad. This is the reason why they refuse to retain you at where you do your NYC. Useless boy! <laughs> 
Before you know yourself, when they give you advice, they're going to talk rubbish. Have you taken any medication? I have. Oh. Hey. Um, you and Herod, are you both having issues like maybe, you know, Marita issues, the way husband and wife used to fight, quarrel, you know, maybe your husband is not talking to you, he's not picking your you calls. Know, what kind of question is this? Just a simple question. Why are you asking me this type of simple question, Gina? Because I'm consigned. I am your friend. Okay. I and Herod did not fight, okay? Herod is a good man. He would never raise his hands on me. So, do not think about it. We never fought. Oh. Oh. You are really lucky. Yes, You're sir. very lucky. Very lucky. You know, I was sleeping. It was you that woke me up. So, why are you like this? What happened? I didn't sleep last night. Really? What happened? Because you're a shadow of yourself. You know, I had a very terrible nightmare. It was so scary. Was it a nightmare or I don't understand what what's happening? In that dream, I was just standing before a set of very angry mob. They accused me of stealing a baby. Before I could say Jack, they descended on me. He beat me blue black and set me ablaze eventually. Ha! My whole body hurts. Hey. So that's how they would have just killed my friend like this. God forbid. Indeed, it's it's really a terrible nightmare. Ha ha! I understand. It is not easy. Married for ten years without a child. I totally understand. That is why I'm asking you, please, can't you consider this IVF? Oh, not again, Gina. I don't, I don't know. Why are you sounding as if IVF is a sin? IVF is not a sin. For the umpt time, Gina. No, I do not want IVF. Lucia, is it when your mother-in-law comes here and start nagging at you, shouting and asking you why you've not given her a grandchild. Is that what you want? Well, my mother-in-law is not my God. <sighs> I will get pregnant and I will carry my baby in my womb for nine months and I will give birth like a Hebrew woman. Have you lost faith in God? Have you forgotten that what God cannot do does not exist? He has done it severally for several women in the Bible. He did it for Sarah, he did it for Hannah, he did it for Elizabeth and lots of them. So he will do it for me. I will not subject my body to negativity. So no, stop, please. The thing, uh, you, you know, procrastination can, can, procrastination is a thief of time. I understand, I believe in God. I know, but God has given us that IVF. Mm -hmm. Talk of it. Ah, I'm very very Welcome, man. Welcome, man. Welcome. Eh? Is it me and believe you are welcoming into my son's house? Yeah. No, take it. As madam of the house. Obria. She will never, ever, ever. Look at her. Come on. Just look at her. Barring woman. My brother went to marry and Wanji as a wife. No child, nothing. Just here. Amanda, okay. is that how to greet your elder brother's wife? Greet who? Greet this barring woman. God forbid. I can never in my life greet this barring woman. This woman that don't want to give my brother a child. You want me to greet her? What is good about the greeting? 
Hmm? Mama, you should have at least called to inform us that you were coming. You know, so we'll prepare for you. Mm. Now you just bashed in. Hmm? Yeah? Hmm. What's after what? Hmm. No, I should have consulted the magistrate, customary court, judiciary, high court. When they approve my letter, then I will call you and ask you if I can come to my son's house. In a Guacanaya. Hmm. you going to give me that bamboo. Meaning? Meaning another. Useless thing. You think you can have your way around my brother's house? No, you cannot. We have come to dominate my elder brother's house. So if you don't like it, fly you. <laughs> and you are seated in my husband's house, abusing me. Yes. Rephrase it. You are in my son's house. Uh -oh. Enjoying. Yeah. Rephrase it. Mama, you two are wrong. Hmm? Your son is a married man now. So court seat demands that before you come into his house, you should inform him and his wife. When you were Mr. Costa, uh, uh, I'm uh, Who called you? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Some people are just shameless. Very shameless. Look at you. Instead of you looking for a man to get married to you, so you will go to your husband's house. You are here interfering in matters that does not concern you. Are you part of this family? Johnny. Eh? Amanda, are you talking to me? Oh, no. Amanda. Oh, you. Amanda, you have the nerves to open this your dirty mouth to talk to me. If you dare talk to me again, eh? I will beat you. Yes, you can't do anything. I am telling you. you. Who are you? I am not Is this your family talk? I yeah, will keep quiet. Though. I will beat you. you. I will box you. I will you. kill you. You don't know me. I will beat you. Pan, I beat you. Is this your brother's house? <laughs> Come and go outside and look for husband. You're coming to show yourself. <laughs> Lucy, I will talk you to him. So, my friendship now. What will happen? Wait, let me tell you something you don't know. Mm. You are yet to get married. You don't even know your fate in your husband's house. And you're just spilling rubbish to your brother's wife. Yeah. Are you not shameless? You're shameful. Senseless people. Look at you. Back to sender. Back to sender. Just stay with care of yourself. And please do not allow anything to do to you to get to you. Because they don't know what they are doing. Take care of yourself. Thank you. I'll call you for coming. Okay, bye. Hello, darling. Hey, babe, what's up? How you doing? Um, I'm so sorry, please. I'm already on my way. The thing is, I actually got an emergency call, but that's by the way. I'm on my way right now. Oh, okay, please. Just, just give me some time. I'll join you. the lady from the other days? Oh, I think her car broke down. This might be an opportunity to get too close to her. Trying to force myself to sleep while you got me shut deep. This behind the 
I mean, come to think of that, how could your car possibly break down in the middle of the road under the scorching sun? Look at you. A beautiful woman at that ma- My goodness. Mr. Man, did I tell you I'm stranded? Well, I have nothing more. I just want to help you fix your car. I'm sorry, I don't need your help. Thank you. You said what? I do not need your help. You can leave. You're not paying me for my services. I just want to help you fix your car. Like I care. I do not need your services or your help. Thank you so much. Please leave. Well, from the way you're sounding, it's obvious you're one of those arrogant and proud type. It's okay. Leave. Thank you. Where are you? Please, my car just broke down, okay? Oh, I'm so oh, sorry. What kept you? Me. You took oh, long. I was missing the car down the road there. That's so sorry. Let me check the car. All right. I think it's the battery. The battery is down. And the alternator is not, it doesn't seem to be working. Just just do so I can leave this place. It's something you can fix now, yeah? Fine. Nobody can take this and lie away. Prepare special ofunu waffle akasi for my son. Wait, Mama. You want to prepare onugu soup for your son when I am here in my kitchen? I don't get it. Do you know how to, Mama? I want to know because I'm sure you don't know how to prepare our ibu delicacy. All you know how to do is fry this, fry that, because. Our Igbo delicacy is highly medicinal. If you know how to cook those things, you should be pregnant by now. Huh? If I want. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, Mama, because hey, uh, hey, Mama, look at the bitter leaf you told me to come. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What about other ingredients? Hey, this is inside. I even got the pan, uh, the the pan there. Ah, I'm so mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Mama, please, I don't really understand what is happening here, right? Now, my husband, Harold, asked me to prepare vegetable soup for him, which happens to be his favorite, and that's what he's having for dinner. Help me understand, please. I am making onugu soup. For my son, because I know you don't know how to make such things. Mama, please. Please, I beg you in the name of God, I do not want to have any problem with you. Because the problem you came with the last time we are even yet to settle it. What is all this now, eh? Which troubles are you talking about? Which of the problems? Not enlighten me. Okay, Chefun? You have not seen anything yet. Barry Rich. The tears in her eyes, pain in her heart. She never bears no grudge. She's ready to love whenever, Hello, engineer. Good afternoon. Where are you? Hey, Ogarod. I, I travel to... What do you mean you travel? What's that supposed to mean? Are you not supposed to be at the site? I had got an emergency from the village. So I had to leave this morning to see my sick mom. Who is actually on admission. I can't speak to you, no? Oh. Okay, I'm, I'm so sorry to hear about that. How is she though? Well, she's responding to treatment. Okay. Um, I'll just head to the site there so I can see what you guys have been doing so far. 
what, what is going on with you? Why are you not have anything to be worried about? Right. We are now in the Linton level. Linton level? Yes. Ah, that's very impressive. That's, that's really good. That means we're almost done. Yes, sir. Um, when I get to the size, I will transfer 100,000 naira to you. I, I just hope it's enough for your mother's hospital bills. Uh, oh God, oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I, I sincerely do appreciate, sir. No, that's that's fine. That's fine. Let me get to the. When I get to the um, size, I'll call you, okay? Uh, thank Please you, take care of your mom, all right? I will, sir. Right, thank you, sir. Right, yeah. All she does is fashion, 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 nothing else. Do you want to finish my son's money? Is that your plan? Mama, please, just allow me some peace. Allow me to prepare dinner for my lovely husband. I beg you, please, Biko. Huh? Leave you alone. Mm -hmm. Look at you. You want to cook for your husband. Yet, no staff, nothing. You didn't even cover your hair. See, I am a man. Hair covered, ready to cook. And you want to cook for your husband? Nonsense. Mama, don't mind her. Her childlessness does not bother her. That's why. You keep forgetting something. This, this is mine. This is my house. So stop insulting me, Amanda. Stop no. it. Which house? This house you'll soon leave is your house. You think this is your house? I'm sorry to disappoint you. It is not your house. Rephrase it. My son's house. Yes. Mama don't Maya. All she does is just flex around. Nothing else. Mama, tell her about the prophets. Tell her about the prophet. prophet. What the prophet said. Yes, prophet. Hold on, wait. Wait, Mama, you've been taking my name to those cheap prophets of yours. Come on, Mama, you know my baby doesn't like these things. From the shows of her feet to the top of her head, she is the epitome of beauty and grace. With tears in her eyes, pain in her heart, she never bears no grudge. She's ready to love. Whenever, however, wherever it takes, she's ready to Hello, babe. Help. How are you? Why are you sounding this way? Have you had something to eat or you're still in bed? You're trying to make dinner. Ah, I thought I told you to have some rest. That's what I told you before I left. Anyway, that's okay. Um, guess where I am now? Yes, I'm at the site. You guessed correctly. And I am so impressed with what these guys are doing here. You won't believe that they have gone past the lintel level. Yes! I mean, do you know how much of your money is in this project? Sweetheart, thank you so much for being very supportive. No, don't say that. Don't say you put it in my name. Say you put it in our name. It's our project, okay? It's for both of us. But sincerely, I honestly do not know what I would have done without you. You have been a very supportive woman. I swear my world, my world revolves around you, baby. Look, you don't need to blush at all. I am just telling you the truth. Sincerely. I love you very much. <laughs> Alright, sweetheart. Let me leave you. I'll talk to you later, okay? I love you. Cause she's got a good heart. Oh. She never bears no grudge. She's ready to love 
Chokolu, is it my interest or are you calling baby? Mama, he is my husband. Whatever I choose to call him is nobody's business. He is my baby. He is my son before he became your husband and I named him. I named him Echezone Harold. Okay, Chukwu. What did the prophet say? Tell me. My prophet said that you are from Maroon World. You have a husband in the water whom you have had seven children with. And he's been the one preventing you from getting pregnant. Oh he doesn't God. want you to marry. Oh. He said that your spiritual husband is a jealous type. That he might end up killing my son. Oh, wait, Mama. You said spiritual husband. I don't understand this. Is, what does that even mean? <laughs> huh? Pretend. Amanda, do not, do not push me. Do not push me. And one more word from you and I will mess you. Mess me. What the fuck? I said that I would use that. I want to play. Listen to this. I have been in my house. Listen, this is my house. And I left it from the ground. Dare move your mouth one more time to insult me. Godfather said what exactly? What did he say? That I am possessed, right? So tell me, please, where is this your spiritual husband? I mean, uh, sorry, your spiritual prophet. Where exactly is this ministry? Because I definitely need deliverance so that I can give you hundred grandchildren. Where is your you need your prophet? You need it. So where is he? You need deliverance. Ah, please. Hey, give up, please. Leave me alone. I want to cook for my husband. Please don't mind. Please just get out of my kitchen. A very woman that you are, we should get her. Woo! Very woman! You know, some people cook without spices. <laughs> Thank hey, my brother. I'm sure you will enjoy this meal. He will lick his fingers. Hey! Oh, the way my brother will enjoy this meal. I'm not sure that his uh, body woman has ever prepared such meal for him. That woman. Mama, can you compare firewood meal, well prepared firewood meal, to gas cooker? Mama, you cannot compare. The difference is very clear. Amanda, Amanda, make sure you wash this pot in and out after cooking. I don't want Lucia's problem. Here. Am I afraid of Lucia already? She will not do anything. If she likes, let her go and call her useless friend to come and fight for her, her police. Mama, you see this pot? Mu Amanda. 
I will not wash it. You will wash it though. I will not wash this because you are the one that suggested we make this food with firewood. Hey, but she's the one that chased us out of her kitchen. She has small stove, but you insisted on making with firewood. So you have to wash it. In fact, don't wash it and say what you want. She will not do anything. Is it because I'm keeping quiet for her? No. She, if she, me tie ya go go. She will not do anything. If she likes, any how she behave, I will call boys and repeat her. I will not put this bitty bitty. I will not wash it. When she chased you out of the kitchen, what did you do? When she threatened you. Okay, but an azum. Eh? Is it because I'm keeping quiet? It's my brother's yeah, house. You are just it, ranting. It's because it's my brother's it's house. Really if old. not, hmm. I wouldn't have asked him to tell you. I'm going to go. Yeah, let's pound it again. Hey. And, uh, and, uh, and this thing, oh, Mama. It's too bad. From the show, show of her feet to the top of her head. She is the epitome of beauty and grace. Tears in her eyes, pain in her heart. She never bears no grudge. She's ready to love whenever, however, wherever it takes. We're calling Morgan. She's ready to help her wherever. slept for some hours and I felt better okay. until your mother and sister came. Oh. Why well, am I not surprised? I thought as much. But I hope they did not touch you because I would do something really drastic now. Nobody touched me, but they heaped loads of insults on me. Enough to last me for a lifetime. Baby? Yes, my love. Do you know your mother now visits a native daughter that told her I have a spiritual husband with whom I have seven children? Four. Babe, are you sure about this? Come on, babe. You know me. I don't say things I am not sure of. But when I tried asking her, she claimed that it was a prophet. I knew something was off. So I demanded to know the name of this prophet and where his ministry is situated. She couldn't say anything. Hmm. Just hope we are safe. You are, she will never, this is so ever, ever disappoint. If she likes, let her talk from now till eternity. We all know that she is sparing and cannot give my son children. And as he is. I never liked that one. One day. Hey! All I am saying is that she should go back to her father's house so that we can get a girl of about 18 years. Oh, no, 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 That has not done anything. Hey? Mama. I want my son to have children. 18 years, Kwa. Uh -huh. What does an 18 years old girl know how to do? A lot. A lot. Yes, a lot. A I married at the age of 16 years. Each or each way, sir. Ask around the village. So you want your son to get married to a girl of 18 years? Yes. Mama. It is called catch them young. 
Hey. By that time, they have not done anything. They have not committed all manner of atrocities, including abortion, which will spell doom on them in the future. Imaron Kome told you when all like this. I know you're indirectly talking to me. One day, you will tell me, go and get married. You will tell me, don't worry. Once you get married. Mama, I'll get married. I'm working on choke and on off here. I don't start. No, I'm, I'm telling you in honesty. I'll get married. You are old enough to... Mama, see, you are old enough to finish bearing children. I'm going to go to the table. I'm going to go to the meeting. So I entered the kitchen to make your dinner. Vegetable soup, your favorite. Mm -hmm. The next thing, Mama and your sister bashed in on me. To do what exactly? Baby, calm down. Let me give you gist now. I was standing very close to the sink you know, to get water, mm. and Mama came and pushed me aside. Mama! Pushed me oh, that she wants to cook for her son. That she wanted to cook with the kokoyam powder she came with from the village. Mm. I refused. I said it's not going to happen. That I wanted to cook for my husband. Mm -hmm. Because I knew that substance is the same thing she got from her native doctor, Abi Prophet, whatever it is. I mm. said it's not going to happen. I bluntly refused. Very good. I, I, this is why I married you. These people don't understand why I married you. You are not just beautiful. You are beauty with brains. They don't understand. Famaho. My darling, let me let you understand something. I will not take any other woman as a wife. It is two of us till the end of time. I'm serious about it. Whether you have a baby for me or you don't have a baby for me, I am with you for better for worse. Okay? What is it? Not again. Don't don't do this. Stop it. I'm scared. Scared of what exactly? That she may one day change your mind and give in to the oppression. The pressure is too much. I would rather die than give in to the pressure. Nobody will make me change my mind towards you. Not even my desperate mother. Don't cry, my baby. Huh? Don't cry. Okay? We're in this together. And I love you. And you will not die. I love you so much. It's okay. Come on. It's okay. No matter what happens, we will be together forever. Okay. We're in this together, okay? Baby. Hmm? Let me go downstairs and fix the dining for dinner. Okay. I'm sure you're exhausted. I am very exhausted and I'm furnished. Okay. I would um I would have a shower and join you soon at the table. Okay. Don't cry again. And if Mama or my sister say anything to annoy you, just ignore them. Okay? okay. Alright, my love. Alright, baby. Take care, alright? Okay. Hey. You are she will never ever ever disappoint. For my son to eat the Onubu soup I personally prepared for him with pounded cocoa yam. And you brought your own concussion, your called vegetable soup. Pushed my aside 
And you are setting this nonsense. No, they get me. Mama, my husband did not beg you to make onubu soup for him. Really? My husband is having vegetable soup and pounded yam. Mama, in case you don't know, we have timetable itinerary in this house on how we feed. Grandma. Oh, you have timetables. Timetable on how to make food. And eat in the dining table. But you don't have timetable on how to make babies. You only exhibit your timetable ship in the dining. I don't blame you. Now listen, my son is going to eat the unubu soup I prepared for him with pounded cocoa yam. Take it or leave it. Mama, stop it. Mama, you are looking for me. Mama, did you come all the way from the village to my house to give me problem? What is my house, Mama? Please. Which house? Hey! Which house? The last time I feel this is my son's house. He left Uzo. Mama, stop it. Mama, stop. Stop. Mama, 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 stop. Mama, stop. mama, stop. You wait. Don't touch me. 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 Don't Pushed my food aside. Hey! You an abomination. Abomination the one. Said the nonsense concussion she made. Call him vegetable. And she's here trying to lecture me on timetables. Hey! Yeah, multiplication. Hey! Oh, hey. Mama. Can you hmm. receive the, the onobu? What is the event? Oh, hey, Talaka. Oh, it's about there. Please. Tell her to not dare me. What you know your hand? Don't you dare me! If you tell me, I'll kill you and dare If you don't kill me, I'll kill you. I will kill you to what? Look at you! Bad woman! Let you come into my house. Share! Come to the food I set for my husband on my dining. Which food? In my house. Which food? Which food? Who the hell? I will. So what are you going to bring yourself to? You dare to that thing. What can you do? If you try to do something, you can do it. If you try to do something, you can do it. Mama, you are looking for me. This woman decided that she would be a thorn in my wife's flesh. Can't, can't Lucia just have peace in her matrimonial home? Did 
you slap her mother? Oh yes, I slapped her. I slapped her so well and I will do it again if she repeats what she just did today. I will have to reset that stupid brain of yours. Oh, no. Can you imagine? Look, I have had enough. I have had enough. What is this now? Um, Amanda. Brother. What did you do to her that made her slap you? Brother, I did not do anything to her. Ask Mama. Mama, be never. Come on. Is there anything? Did I do anything to this bad woman? I don't know say, I don't know say that nah, nah, me they call me, they not come for my gate like that. <laughs> eh, I not come for your gate. Oh, give me gate. Morning, ma. It's my son and the wife around. No, my Oga are there inside my house, ma. Eh. Yeah, inside, inside my house. house inside my house. Ma, 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 Oga, ma, ma. Every day I go, they call me Onyausa, Onyausa. Be kissing. What do you mean? Everyone is kissing. Did you come to tell me you were coming? Did you call my wife or something? Did you? You can't just barge in here just like that. You did not inform me that you were coming. As what? When did that one start? Huh? I should go to INEC, get a voter's card, do an election. If I'm selected, then I'll call, tell you that I'm coming to the Senate. Mukem, please, I don't have time to explain all that. What I need now is go far for the oko and the white rice. But the, but the, but the guy is Just imagine, I am telling you that what you did is wrong. Gani upuku, ofakwa and white rice. And I'm aware that what you did is wrong. Ine upuku, white rice and 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 ofakwa. Do I blame you? Where is that your wife? Because I know that she practically did not want to greet me. She's hiding from me, Obria. Mama, my wife is not at home. She is, she is still in church. I don't understand. She went to church and you did not? Mama, I went to church. But it's just that they made an announcement that the women should stay back for a brief meeting. So, Lucia stayed back. <laughs> For what? Why would Lucia stay back when she's not yet a woman? Mama, what do you mean by that? Of course you know what I am talking about. She is not yet a mother. So why would she stay back for women meeting? As in the name mama! What would she answer? Augustine also. All of us know that she is barren. She's unable to give you children. Oh, oh, more of the miscarriage may have no plap. I'm not going to wear. I'm not going to hear me in car this time around. Oh. You see what you just came here to do? Uh. I will not take it from you this time around. You did not tell me that you were coming. Uh. And now you come here to tell me rubbish and insult my wife in front of me. Mama, I will not take it. You will not take it! You will take it! You can control all excesses. From a woman who cannot give you a child, may have one of no a miscarriage. But your own mother fed you, nurtured you from infancy to a man. You cannot control any excesses. 
Ok, mais j'ai un peu de temps à l'écran. Oh, non. Mais il faut te dire que tu... Ça, quand on donne des SS, moi, j'ai fini chez lui. Non, non, non. Come on, good afternoon. Please get the bag from behind the seats. Okay, madam. Uh, madam. Okay, mama. You come house today. Oh. Where is she? I don't have my house for you. I don't have my house with her, okay? Just get it back. Okay, okay. Nobody deserves this. Nobody deserves this. Nobody deserves to be treated this way. Nobody can take this, nobody can take this, nobody can take this and lie away. Good afternoon, Mama. Mama, you're eating in the living room. We have a place where you can eat, the dining table. Mama, imagine if I had walked in here with an important guest. It won't have been a good sight. An important guest? A guest who is more important than me? Eh? What? Well, this is my son's house. So I can eat wherever I am fit. Mama, please. This is the living room. We don't eat here. Now, Con. Well, that's besides the point. You went to the church since morning. You're just coming back now. Something came up. Something came up. I heard that you stayed back for women's meeting in the church. Why? I want to know when you are yet to become a mother. So why would you stay back for women's meeting? As in the name He got one to be kind. No, I want to know. You can't even conceive a topic pregnancy. And you stayed back for women's meeting in the church. Each or he made a summary. Honey, where is I'm home. Hey, hey. Oh, but what? I'm here. I'm going. Then, honey, him. Hey, pop. Honey, without child. I'm a mom. Come on, stand here and ask me why am I eating here? Hmm? When I was paying my son's school fees, did I see you? You want to enjoy this money? Mm -hmm. This is not what I want to do. Eh? I was thinking to cook for Tafu. You know what I'm okay? Show Tafu with white rice. Hey, how are you? How's the meeting? Oh, I, I saw Mama downstairs eating, oh. and she had the whole place to eat her with food. You know, the thing that I told her to move to the dining to eat, but she called me bluff. Really? Did you save her yourself? <laughs> no, I did not. Too. You needed to have seen the way she even came into the house. She startled me. 
I don't understand. Well, Mama just barged into the house and said she was hungry. I told her that you were not around, that you stayed back for the women's meeting. Mm -hmm. But she just ignored me and went into the kitchen straight. She served herself food and started eating. Your mother went into my kitchen, opened my pot of, my pot of food and, and served herself. Why? Your mother is looking for my trouble. Babe, I am. I'm very sorry. I know it's wrong. Do you know what she said to me downstairs? What? That I am coming back from women's meeting. And that women's meeting are just for mothers. That I am not a mother. Well, she rub it on my face every time. I'm sorry, babe. I'm, I'm really sorry. My mother can be overbearing. I know. But please, I am apologizing on her behalf. I'm sorry. Sorry, okay. Babe, um, just give me a minute. I'll join you soon, all right? I will not have you come into my house and cost my wife so much pain. Okay, then, Mepa. Open up the door, go. Pack your things and go. Woman rapper. Actors on You have suddenly turned into a woman rapper. Then you. Whoa! Go and rap her. What has this, this lovely lady done to you? What crime has she committed against you? A huge crime. Very huge one! She has refused to give me grandchild. Is it too much to ask for? Just one? Imone mo. Man, she's not God. I am not God. You are not God. Mm. Then she should eh? go to God's house. So the reason you are doing this is because she has not conceived. Mm. That's the reason you are being cruel to her? Yes, because she is barren. Chazana, all your younger siblings you got married before them, they all have children. Mama, I am someone's child as well, and the way you are treating me, it's not fair. Then give me some time. You deserve more than this, barren witch. You deserve more than what I am doing to you. Is it too much to ask for a child? Give me one child. Oh fool! Is it too much to ask for? Eh? Barren witch. Mama. Mm? You see what you're doing? What am I doing? Mama, I see what you're doing. What am I doing? This woman has not done anything to you. She's a barren witch. This woman has not done She has to go! Mama. You! Mama. In a chakopa! In a go! Going, going! Go inside and wrap her well. Anna, put your dog on. You do Tell me you, why you'll be rapping a woman like that. Put two days here and then one equal rap here. One month, two months, a year, two years. Are you mad that? Think I'm a poor poor Are you not supposed to be in your husband's house? Eh? Echezona, be cool. Leave Amanda out of this. She is not your problem. She is not the cause of your misfortune. Mama, mama, it's okay. Mama, 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 mama it's okay. Mama, 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 mama. Why are you mama me? Eh? You can get into where that? Pick up! Stop! What has she done? <sighs> so this is what... What is her crime? This is what you're doing. Mm. Time after time, I keep wondering. 
if you are truly my mother. Because if I am a man, sometimes I think, how can a mother be this wicked? Eh? Think about it. How can a mother be this wicked? Imagine if this girl was your own daughter. God forbid! Lucia can never be my daughter. For real? Lucia Mwanyaga, my own daughter. For what? Abumaga! Abumaga! I reject you! I reject you! Seven times. Amen. I reject you in my seven words to come. Amen. I reject you, my no money fair. Amen. You can never be my daughter. Never. You will not eat this food. Never. This food. Mama. You will not eat it. Go and mark my words today. Go and mark my words today. Mm. You will regret it. I will reject that regret. You will eat your words. I will back. not eat any you words. You will eat your words. My back. word is my bond. She can never be my daughter. Never. I regret it. Never. Barry woman. Amanda, you called me Barry. Uh -huh. Are you not a Barry woman? You opened this your mouth to call me Barry. And after all I have done for you. What did you do for me? Yes. Memory lost. You are. Disappoint Cause she's got a good heart Who has this number? Police officer What are you doing at the police station? You were arrested. What did you do? What are you even saying, Amanda? You were dating an arm robber and you, and you don't know? What is this guy's name? Clemson. Wait, the same Clemson that you were arrested with the last time, the Yahoo boy. He's also an armed robber. Wait, Amanda, are you sure you are not a member of his gang? Okay. Have you called your brother? Which police station are you detained in? Ingrid, that is what you are. You suddenly turn around to bite the same finger that fed you, Amanda. No problem. I don't blame you. <sighs> Amanda. Mm. Wait to. You've been arrested twice by the police. Uh, hey, I can't believe this. So you 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 went to bail this idiot from the from the police detention twice. Hey, I and you did not tell me. I thought I was doing it for someone that is reasonable. This more reasonable. Not knowing I was doing it for an ungrateful human being. Very ungrateful. Even you, Mama, don't look at me. After all I did for you, have you forgotten? Huh? What did you do for me? Oh, 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 is it the gifts we were showering on me then? Oh, because of that you want me to sit and fold my hands? Watch my son! Thy childless. It's a boom with us. Baby, I don't, I don't even know what I did to deserve all these insults from your family. The only thing I did was come down here to set dinner for us. On reaching here, I saw that Mama set the table. I moved it aside and placed your food exactly where it's supposed to be. That is my only offense. Why would you push my own food aside? On what ground did you do it? Mama, please, I am talking to my husband. Allow me finish. I am talking to my son, too. Baby, like I was saying, mm -hmm. we were still on it. Mama insisting that her food has to be where it was, and Amanda came in. Had the guts to touch my food and started calling me names. And of course, I slapped her to reset her stupid brain. Tiger! Slap! Come and 
slap her again because I kept quiet. I respected you for one thing. Maka one thing. Just maka one thing. Try it next time. I will chop you raw. All you do is cause trouble. That's all you do in my house. Anytime you come here, you, come, you just come to cause trouble. Ah! I have forgotten your name is Chukwecho Zonam. But let me remind you, I am still your mother. I know you will take sides. Oh yeah. Go on. Go on. Celia, um, you know we have to get on this whole baby thing. Okay? Of course you know the customers, they're on our neck. Alright. Uh, does it mean we are doing the baby this night? Oh yes, of course, we have to. I would want the owners of this baby to receive it first thing tomorrow morning. I'm feeling you okay? Yeah. Okay, if that is the case, that means we have to hasten up to meet the night boss, which is going to have a job. Oh yes, but please, Priscilla, for safety reasons, not just any night boss. Because God is good or nothing, okay? It must be God is good. I'm alright now. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, yes. Oh, please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, we're about to dispatch the baby tonight, okay? On failing you tomorrow morning, you receive them. Thank you so much for your patronage. Thank you. All right. Okay, I'm um, Priscilla. Okay, there is no time. We have to be at God is Good Motors. It's already late, okay? Um, okay, you know what will happen? Since I just received this call, just look up the office. I'll do the baby myself, okay? All right, yeah. Oh, hold on. Okay, I'm sure this will do for your transport, yeah? Babe, yes, I've heard everything. Please, serve me my food in my room. I'll eat in the room. Oh, but a bastard! Fat white lie! My dear, you are not eating that food. You know what? I swear to Almighty God, you will not eat that food. You must eat the nugu I prepared. Do you know what Amanda and I went through preparing that food for you? I asked my wife to make vegetable soup for me and that's what I want to eat and I asked my son to eat the bitter leaf soup I prepared for him is it too much? Um, why not? I'll be upstairs eh? serve me my food upstairs okay then go and get your own job bam kitchen yes sir boy Harold cases gave me cause to worry why would another man's case they gave me a cause to worry after all whatever that's happening he brought it upon himself how? I don't understand. Because if he had married a younger woman, this would not be happening. He married a woman because of her wealth and now they're childless. Babes, how can you say such a thing? Huh? Lucia is not that old. No, not like old, old, you know. She's not. Listen, Harold is my very good friend. A friend from way back. I know Harold too well. You know, imagine if Arod had married a woman, let's say, a woman he gave about 10, 15 years gap, this whole thing wouldn't be happening. But you see, Harold went and confiscated, rather that's the word I should use, he went and confiscated an aged woman. And now, they are childless. Well, I think he's lucky to have been married from that family. Besides, he has no idea that Alicia's father is rich. He met, dated, and proposed to her before she opened up to him. Seriously. We are saying the same thing. He got married to her because of her father's wealth. And that's the thing. And now they need a child. There's no child anywhere for them. Babes, are you jealous of him? I'm jealous of him. I mean, why would I be jealous of a man who cannot produce a child? Emma who cannot reprocreate. I mean, look at me, a fatal man like me should be jealous of a man who doesn't have a child. Hell, who does that? I mean, it doesn't make sense to me. Why 
don't you get married first so you can focus on your own family and leave another man's oh. home alone? Oh, oh. Yes. So you're using Harold's case to shade me over getting married. So you want to remind me that I'm not married or you want to tell me when to get married? Look at you. What are you waiting for? It's been years already. We should be getting married. Oh, yes, I know, I know. But when the time comes, I'll definitely get married. Okay. And as for Harold and Lucia, God's time is the best. I Miracle, know. not the fire Jesus. I was waiting for you. I knew you would say this. Ah, when it's God's time, they will have their own child. But let me ask you this question. Why? No, oh, answer me. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just asking you. Why? Oh, my boo Come and see this bag. Hey! You know, I love this one. I'm not paying for that bag. At least I don't care whatever you're saying there. I'm not paying. And that's just the reality. I'm not paying for the bag. Please. I told you you're jealous of me. Look at it. <laughs> I'm not jealous. No, no, no. You, you can't impose that on me. I'm not jealous. No, look at me. Look, look at my face. I'm not jealous. No, I'm not paying for the bag, please. After you're walking, you're walking. You should pay for the bag. From the shush of her feet to the top of her head, she etched a epitome of beauty and grace. With tears in her eyes, pain in her heart. She never bears no grudge. She's ready to love whenever, ever, wherever it takes. Thank you, Catchy. Yes, I'm. Wherever, however. Good evening, how are you? Fine, Auntie. Auntie, this is why they come back by this time. Mm -hmm. I hope there's no problem. <laughs> No, there is no problem. I had to do a wee before a customer had got his good motors. Auntie, see my brother got this good. God is good now, my brother now, from my village. God is good is your brother? Yes, now. I don't understand. How do you mean? God is good now from Oba, my village, for Anambra State. <laughs> really? So you see, God is good. Nkechi, you know, sister, amaze me. Why are you lying? Eh? God is good is not from Oba. I'm telling you they lie. God is good. Uh, listen, from my listen, Oba. listen to me. God is good is not from Oba. Neither is he from Anambra State. Okay? He is from Isuluka government in Imo State. Get that into your head. Please get me a glass of juice. Let me drink. Okay. She will never, ever, ever disappoint. Make I think can you, can you, can you just leave? Well, just yes. leave. It's okay. It's fine. I'm tired, okay? I'm stressed. See, just, I said you should drop it and leave. Okay. What is wrong with you? I'm telling you, I love you so much. Oh my God. How did I employ? Girl would not even allow me to have peace of mind. She keeps arguing at every little thing. What kind of a girl is this? Hey! Nobody deserves this. Nobody deserves to be treated this way. Hello, big sis. Good evening. Oh, I just got back from work now. Oh, don't be like that. It has always been on my mind to call you, but each time I try to, I forget. And that's, by the way, how's the family? Oh, really? I hope there's no problem. Okay. 
okay please just take care of yourself for me okay all right good night I have even decided to leave. To leave? Yes. Come. <laughs> you can't tell me you want to leave your house because of those two. I mean... Sis, I have been going through so much in the hands of those women. The names they call me. All sort of horrible names like Barry Witch, <laughs> Mami Water Possessed. All sort of names. What? So what have your husband been saying about it? What has he been doing? My husband is by my side. I mean, he's very supportive. He tries to talk to them. Yes, he does. But each time he's, he, he talks to them, they, they, they go right back and do even worse. It feels like he's pouring water on stone. They even threaten to throw me out of my home. <laughs> throw you out of your own house? Mm -hmm. A house you built with your own money? Your own sweats? They want to throw you out? Are they mad? No, don't even tell me those two are in this house. They in this house. They came yesterday with their trouble. Of As we speak. Mm -hmm. Sis, I keep telling you, you are too, you're too calm. You're too soft. And I don't like it. Those two people are threatening you in your own house. And here you are seated. They are in this house. Like they are in this house. We are here again. Hold on. No, 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 no. I don't expect that. They come to the me. Oh my God. Oh, no. My mother, she's not in. You, you wanna do it? Hmm? Now go inside that room, pick everything that belongs to you and Mama, and leave this house before I get you out of state immediately. <laughs> You 
come back and meet me. You must come back to the village and meet me. Okay? Eh? You told me you built a house in that Saba. You told me you built a house here in Asaba. I didn't know it was the very woman that built your house for you. Who? Amanda! Amanda! Mama! This house I said about poor. Ah, what are you packing? Ah, what nonsense? I'm up here. Ma, let's go, let's go, let's go. Kaidan, what do you mean, Kaidan? Let's leave now. Oh, I should go before you. Is that what you're saying? Mama, your sister here, Sham. Let's go. Nonsense. Let's leave. Let's go. I told you. I told you that your brother is a woman rapper. Didn't I say that? Didn't I mention that to you? I told you he's a woman rapper. Your brother will rap one or we rap one. Envelope him. Tien and Gada. Baba, let's go. Woo! I just wanna I am leaving your house. Now let's go. Let's go. Oh! Yo! This house. Which breakfast? My friend, when we get to the village, we eat the breakfast. Not some breakfast. Mama, 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 mama. Brother has fallen in my hands. Hey! Mama, brother has fallen in my hands. Hey? So he's not even the owner of this firehouse, this cars. And he's there. He's just seated on. Borrowed wealth, doing nothing. Hey! Be there and speak grammar. Just stay there and be speaking grammar. I am going back to my husband's house. Yes. At least he still has a house. I am proud of him. Unlike your brother. That woman is nice. Yes. Which woman? I do Luciana. Even if after all this wealth she has, she still respects brother. Hey, mama. I wish. I wish God Almighty. We we'll just give her a child. I pray for her. But why you, 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 you're very wicked. I'm doing this just because of you. you Mommy, I'm doing this because of you. Because I'm going to be Just to please you. I'm, I'm wicked in this woman. It's not, it's not fair. After making sure that I did not rot in jail or go to jail, now you're making me do. Follow you and do what she's doing, what you're doing to her. It's not good. Listen to me. I don't have time for this nonsense. When we get to the house, eh? You explain everything that I needed to know. But for now, I am looking for my way to the village. Not yet, I'm a sort of summons. Hey, that's where I held. I'm not kissing her. She is nice. No, stay. Yes. I'll be praising another Mama, woman. I'll follow you. She's very rich. Mama, she's, she's very rich. Mama, she's very rich. My friend, Mama, let's use let you. It is because of you I'm doing this thing. I am following you just to make you happy. So, who's there? Mama, I am following you. I am doing it because of you. No problem. Don't follow me. We are going together. Good radiance to bad rubbish. Ah, let them go, sis. Relax. Thank God. Now I can finally have some peace in my home. Sis, you're too cool-headed. And I don't like it. Look at what you've been going through in your own house and you've been enjoying it. I can't take such nonsense from anybody. Calm down. Mm? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> But please, do not go about disturbing yourself, okay? God will give you children at his own time. But I insist you have to do something about that your mother-in-law. How? That woman is not a nice woman. <laughs> at some point, I'm beginning to think she has a hand in the case of you and your husband's childlessness. No, don't, don't say that, Vera. Look, I know my mother-in-law has her fault, but doing this, mm -mm, she doesn't know anything. Look, she's just doing what every other mother would do. What is best for their child? But don't you think she's overdoing it? It is too much. At this point, I'm beginning to think she's intentionally wanting to frustrate you out of your marriage. Mm -mm. I met my husband and fell in love with him. Because he is a good man. That was the main reason I accepted his proposal. You know what I don't get? It's the fact that I haven't been able to miss my period, let alone have a miscarriage. I don't understand it. Sissy, I know and I understand this to the point that I know that you have run series of fertility tests just to make sure that you are medically fit. And thank God that it has been proven that you and your husband are medically fit to have children. Okay? Just calm down. God will give you children at his own time. 
but I insist somebody is doing this to you. You know, you may not be far from the truth, but the question is, who did I offend? You know, the other day, a madman said something to me. I knew it. I said it. He was specific. He said, beware of friends. Friends? Yes. And you and I know I have just one friend. Regina. She's more of like a sister. I mean, she's too close to us. Thinking of her in such a way is, is out of place. No, 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 sis, I can vouch for her. Gina can never do such a thing. Well, you know, mad men, you know how they talk. Maybe he isn't even sure what he's Sis, he called you a name. Exactly my point. Okay, fine. Do you know what you do for me? Do not tell anybody anything that has to do with your family anymore. From today, anything that has to do with your family, do not disclose it to anybody. Even if they ask you, don't. Your family secret is what you should keep safe. Okay? Okay. Um, by that way, nobody will use what you say to them against you. Alright? Fine. And do not forget to tell your husband to, to be one of his friends. Don't worry, sis. Everything is fine. Relax. Everything will be just fine. Okay? Thank you. Your work. <laughs> Babe. Yeah, baby. What is happening to us? I don't understand. Babe, can you please drop your phone? This is very important to me. Just give me a second, okay? Fine. I'm waiting. Okay. Yeah, so. What is it? It's high time we got married. I'm tired of playing this hide and seek game. I'm tired of it, please. I'm not ready. Yeah, I'm not ready. For five good years, we have been together. Five solid years. And you sit here telling me that you are not ready to marry me. I don't get it. I do not understand it. Um, Jennifer, I don't know why you're bringing up this talk. I am the man here. I mean, I should be the one doing the talking, the proposal, the engagement, and what have you. This is marriage for crying out loud. I should be the one doing the whole talking. Then do the needful. Yes. I am not ready. It, 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 it worries me as well. I'm not ready. When will you be ready? I want to know. When exactly will you be ready? Uh, okay, star. When I'm going to be ready, when I'm going to be ready, when I'm going to be ready. It's, it, it, it's a problem. It, it, it has to do with the government. And it, the government has a significant role to play in this marital case. You see, the, the, the economy of this country is so bad. And it, it takes like four years for a government to come and go and things have to start working it, it is really affecting the younger generation the bad economy of this country is affecting so many younger people who ought to be getting married i don't know what the government is doing to improve the situation in this country i'm telling you for things to begin to work it has to take like uh, maybe uh, a year no like up to four years sometimes five years but, but let's see and hope if this immediate government could do something better you know it's, it's sad. It's burning me. It's, it's, it's burning my soul. Bad situation. Kester, what nonsense are you vomiting from your mouth? What are you saying? What does government have to do with what I'm discussing with you? Settling down, getting married. What are you saying? You know, I have been the one holding this relationship together. If you know that you do not love me anymore, why not tell me? Tell me so I can gladly walk away so you can stop wasting my time for I am sick 
I'm tired of waiting for you. My mates are all getting married out there. And you are telling me government. What rubbish government? You see, uh, it's clear to me that you, you don't even understand what is happening. As a professional economist, like a well-trained economist, I understand the impact of the government on marital issues. It's okay, I understand you don't understand how these things work, but it's just the reality. But, but come to think of that, I mean, this is marital discussion. I mean, why should you be the one to initiate it? I am the man here who should be talking about the whole thing. Does it matter? Does it matter who proposes? Hmm? Tell me! If you cannot do it as a man that you are, then let me do it! If you're not man enough. Oh, please. There's no way you can do it. I mean, I mean I'm a man and a woman can never propose to me. Hell no. Then do something! Do something! I'm tired! Can't you see? I'm not getting any younger. I'm not. Do something. <sighs> okay. Well, it's now obvious to me that you're prepared to make issues and I'm not caught up for that. Um, Please, can you make me something for breakfast? Because I need to hit the office anytime soon. Alright? Thank you. Okay, I'll come to the mechanic myself. All right, no problem. I'll just take a drop, okay? Yes. All right. The guy is not yet back. Oh, yes. Yeah, um, I'll just pick it up myself on my okay. way. All right. <laughs> Mother, this place is going. I hope you come back very soon. Don't worry, I won't take time, okay? Oh, okay. I'll be no right back. All right. Bye. Can I get to meet you? Uh, yes. Okay, yeah. Um, um, that's, um, um, what's her name again? Um, Sorry, how may I help you? Yeah, uh, you don't know me, but I was actually supposed to meet with her. I have an appointment to catch up with her. Oh. Remind me her name again, please. That is um, Lady Vera. Lady Vera, that's, that's her. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. You know her? Yes, I was supposed to catch up with her later today. Oh, really? No, but it, it's okay. Uh, maybe I'll have to reschedule. Oh, fine. That would be better. Okay. Uh, this, is supp this, is, this is supposed yes, to be this, her office, uh, right? Yes, this is her office. Okay, I see. So, how is work? You see, we are trying our best. Anyhow. <laughs> it's okay. You're a great guy. Let me yes. see if I can um, give you oh. something to probably go to um, a good spot to get something. To yeah. cool off. Okay, just take this. Give this. Yes. All right. Okay, I will. All right, thank you so much. Yes, I appreciate you're a nice person. Thank you. You don't have to tell her that I came. I'll have to reschedule with her. Oh, really? No problem. All no right, problem. thank yeah. you. Okay. Thank you. Vera, Vera, what a sweet name for a sweet lady. Something that befits Mr. Kester, King of Bachelors. What? She's beautiful. My, you oh my. At least this is going to make a difference. You know, so that Harold will stop doing this nonsense he's doing, building plazas, building mansions, and driving big, big cars. At least now I have a big lady that's going to fund my lifestyle. Oh, but this is cash out. <laughs> this lady is for me. 
I am not contesting this with any other person. This one is for the caves. I'm a keep you Vera. Kester, king of the boys. Kester, king of Bachelor. Kester, king of Bachelor. Too much frenemies. Too much frenemies. That pretend to be your friend. That's unusual. I haven't heard Mama's voice all day. Well, that is because Mama is not in the house as we speak. What happened? Where has she gone to? You see, your mother and your sister, they left. Better, better. Don't you feel bad that you didn't even say goodbye at least? Goodbye to what? Goodbye to those people. Look, I am very happy that they left. Do you know what they've done for us? With all that madness that we're showing in this house, exhibiting in this house, you want them to remain? It is good that they left. Eh? Let them go with that. Imagine Mama bringing Amanda to insult my own wife. I know. No. Baby. She is still your mother. Yes, I know she's my mother, but how am I supposed to feel? A woman who almost charmed me. She collected something from one who knows the native daughter that she even collected that thing from. And, 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 and you are saying she's my mother. Yes, she's my mother, but in fact, let me not even talk. Yeah, I know. It's, what she did is terrible, but she's still family. Yeah, she's still family. But let her remain in her husband's house and you stay in your husband's house. Babe, do you remember that pot I bought? The new one? Yeah, 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 the, the stick on. Yeah, yeah, that one. That one, yeah. Can you believe that your mother and your sister used it to cook on firewood? You don't say. Oh, my God. Holy Moses. My. My husband, oh my god, no problem. 
as long as God is alive, I know I will give birth to children for my husband. From the shows of her feet up to the top of her head She is the epitome of beauty and grace With tears in her eyes, pain in her heart She never bears no grudge She's ready to love whenever, however, wherever it takes she's ready to help where <laughs> oh. my love you did the right thing you see why i speak so highly of you Habib should have been here the whole house was thinking I had to disinfect the kitchen after I threw away the pot of bitter leaf soup she made for you. Oh my God, I can imagine. Could it have been the caution that she collected from that native doctor? What else? Do you know your mother? She's she's desperate and can do the unthinkable. Ah, oh, this woman. My mother is so obnoxious, so obnoxious. That woman just wants me dead. Mm 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 mm, babe. I don't think she wants you dead. I mean, you are her child. I think maybe if she had succeeded in making you eat the food, it would have charmed you and made you see reasons to stop loving me and possibly leave our marriage. God forbid. Amen. Well, thank God she did not succeed. Because no sane man on planet Earth would abandon you. You? Babe, you are an asset. You are the best decision I ever made. And I will not leave you for any other woman. Baby, you have a way of making me feel or oh, my head is swelling. Is my head is my head bigger? <laughs> Check it. If you want to swell it's <laughs> you know something. So you look. But seriously, I am not flattering you at all. I will marry you a million times over. You are the best thing that happened to me. I made the best decision of marrying you. And I will remain with you no matter what happens. I will love you till the end of time with or without children. With children, baby. I'll give you children, beautiful children, male and female, except there is no God in heaven. I know I will. You're a good man and I love you so, so much.
you just leave me alone? Leave me alone. Uh -uh. Remove your hand from under. Shift it well, please. Mm -hmm. Why are you doing this? I'm just honey. No, just, no, just, no, just, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't, don't start with me. Go and calm yourself. Leave me alone. I want to ask you something. Let me, let me ask you. Eh? I want us to define this relationship. Yes. Honestly, I don't know what you are driving at. Okay. What is the essence of this whole thing? Where are we headed to with it? I don't understand. What, what are you driving at? It's been you having your way with me all the time. You see me as a cestool and nothing else. Yes. All you want with me is says, says, says. You are honey left, right and center. I am tired of it. I'm tired. Are you not my girlfriend? Oh. Are you not my girlfriend? I should so agbada with it. I should just use that so very big agbada and wait and go everywhere I'm going. As your girlfriend, all my mates are getting married. What are you telling me? Um, you should be ashamed of yourself. Are you not my girlfriend? Babe, I, I know what you're up to. Come on, trust me. I know exactly what you're up to. You're just trying to fizzle words into my mouth. I mean, you want to know what I have to say. But it's okay. Uh, but stop it. I don't like it. Don't try forcing me and try to put words into my mouth. It's not nice. Mm. Oh, yeah, you heard me. <laughs> stop it. You know what? I know you see me as nothing. You do not see me in your future. No, you don't. You don't. Say the truth. I have given you all the time. I've been patient with you. I've waited. But no. All I keep getting is sex, sex, sex all the time. At this point, I think I should draw the line. I'm calling it wait with you. Babe? Did you just say you're, you're quitting? You are leaving this relationship? Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Oh, okay. Why don't you just come out straight and tell me that there's someone somewhere, probably a sugar daddy or something, maybe some kind of guy somewhere who's trying to convince you to leave your God-blessed relationship? Oh. You can say whatever do you want. Sugar daddy, sugar boy, sugar picking. It doesn't matter to me. I know that you do not want me in your life anymore. First thing tomorrow morning, I will be out of your life for good. Very early in the morning. Early, pie pie. I don't move. And you will never see me again. Nonsense. Um, you know, when people are stressed out, they say a lot of unusual things, you know, things that they ought not to be saying. And I, if I could remember, you had a very stressful day from work yesterday, so um, you're indirectly trying to let me know that you need to rest. So just sleep. Maybe in the morning you'll be fine, okay? Get back to sleep. Just just go and sleep. I know you'll be fine, okay? Sleep. Right? You are not a serious woman being at home. You are not. Nonsense. Um, let me just go to the bathroom and probably help myself out, okay? Oh, how concerns you. Sweetest husband. No start, no start teasing. Teasing you care. You know I won't tease you. You have always been sweet. Never stop being sweet. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. What? 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 She just loved me. Babe. 
Bey. 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 Time. I need to put myself together. See, you know, there are so many things. You will as never put yourself together, Esther. You will never organize yourself in this life. You will never put yourself together. I want to get out of your life. Half of everything that has to do with you, Esther, I am dumb. You are like a plague. I don't want you in. You, 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 you can do this, baby. You, 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 you dare not. You can do this. Listen, I've been through a lot with you. You live in my life. I'm, I'm going to be like. The most loneliest man in the world. Please don't do this to me. I beg of you, please. Are you serious? Me, please. Oh, my darling. I need to listen to me, okay? I said I am done. D O N E. In capital letter. I'm done. You can do this. We have been through a lot in this life. So many rivers will have passed through. Listen, babe, okay. Okay, just give me. Okay, the, the time I'm asking for will be that much. Just give me a little time, baby, please. You don't do this, I beg you, baby, please. You can't live my life like this. I'm gonna be so lonely. I'm gonna be empty without you. See, you're, you're my pride. And I've, I've, I've not said this before, and I've said it for the first time. You're my pride. You can't leave me like this. Please. Oh, so sorry about that. Can you get out of my way? Get out of my way. Please don't touch me with that filthy hands of yours. Don't try it. My life is empty without you. Where am I going to start from? My life is empty without you, baby. You can't do this to us. God will bring them on back! in this world. Surely punish you. Hello, Princey. How are you? Um, I don't mean any harm, okay? I just want to help. And your luggage looks heavy. Can I at least drop you off? I don't need your help. I don't. I mean, you don't have to be so rigid. I just want to help. Please. Can you just leave me the hell alone? You men are all the same. So please, peace off. Stay off, please. Well, I understand that some guys are devil in disguise, but I mean, you can still give life a chance. Yes. I insist, let me help. Come on. Let fine, fine, you won. Okay, so, is that a yes? A yes, right? <laughs> All right. Let me take this in for you. What has she done? 
about the shirt that you got. I know right. How do I look? Come on, are you even asking that? My husband is a get smart. Ah! He is a mirror I'm man. <laughs> I'm not. You saw so it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but you look very good, baby. Thank you know you, that. Mm -hmm. You know I love you, right? I love you too. Okay. <laughs> baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one day. Today we are mm -hmm. good. Um, you see it? It's right here. Yeah. Oh, babe. Yes, sir. Babe, did I tell you that I have a meeting scheduled for 10 a.m. with our foreign investors? Oh, yes, you did say so. <laughs> and it's going to last for two hours. Okay. We will do lunch after the meeting. Mm. Mm, I'll call you. Don't say no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love you. I love you more. <laughs> oh, okay, babe. Okay, you, you, you are, you are running late. Let's go home, break first. Come on. <laughs> Run late when it's you. <laughs> okay. <I'll> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, tell me your beautiful name. My name. Yes. I'm Jennifer. Jennifer. Wow, what a spectacular name. So tell me, Jennifer, has anyone told you that you're the most beautiful creature in the world? Please, we just stop it. Just stop it already. Oh, no just offense. stop. That's how you guys are. Oh, well, if you say so. No offense. Um, so, where are you off to now? You want to know where I'm headed? Yes, you with the traveling bag, so. Well, I'm going home. Um, okay, you're just returning from a trip? No. N-O. No. So, why with the traveling bag? Fine, if you must know. I just left my ex-boyfriend's house. I mean, I just broke up with him. That fool. Idiot like him. I am so sorry. I understand how you feel. You know, so many times, a lot of people don't know the value of what they have until they lose it. It's a very common phrase. And we've all experienced it. So, I'm so sorry, okay? Five years. Five years I was with him. And then the dude was busy, cheating on me. Jumping from one girl to another. Not for once did I cheat on him. Not for once. So did you actually see him with another girl? I waited for him. I waited for at least let him propose to me. But he never did. Oh no, he never did. Instead, he was busy gallivanting the whole town. Jumping from one girl to another. One cheap loose girl to another. I'm happy I've left him. I'm happy. I just pray that. It's fine. It's all good. That makes it two of us, you know. I got my baby engaged before I traveled to the States for greener pastures. And surprisingly, when I got back, she was married to my best friend. Can you imagine that? What? Yes.
Babe, <coughs> I have to run now. I'm running late, okay? Yes, totally. And I will be going to the boutique soon. Going to the boutique? Mm -hmm. Are you sure you're fit for that? You know that your health is my priority. Yes, yes I do. I am fine and ready to go back to business. You're sure? Promise. Okay, if you say so. Mm -hmm. Please just take care of yourself, okay? I will. Love. <laughs> and um, one more thing. Babe, mm -hmm. do not overwork yourself. I won't. I promise. You're My sure. dearest husband. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you know we're doing lunch today. Of course, how can I even forget? You can't forget. Mm -mm. Alright, darling. I have to run. Ain't you forgetting something? I don't always have to remind you. <sighs> I'm so sorry. My love. I owe it to you as an obligation to always show you some loving. <laughs> Give you some loving. I love you, darling. I love you. Mm. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye, darling. You too. She just loved me. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Joy. How have you girls been? We are fine, ma. <laughs> How is your health? I am fine. I am well, thank God. <laughs> so tell me, girls, did anyone come looking for me in my absence? Hmm. Ma, so many people came looking for you. That's your customer for Mira and Babangi Dawi. Sandra. Yes, ma. Did she give you some money to keep for me? Yes, she gave us 100,000 naira to uh -huh. keep. She said you understand. Of course I do understand. Sandra never disappoints, you know. <laughs> it feels so good to be back to work. Welcome, Welcome ma. ma. We, we miss you. missed you so much. <laughs> I miss you girls too. Thank you. Oh, you can go if you get me the sales book, okay? Okay, ma. All Thank right. you. Thank you. <laughs> Babe, how far now? I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm on my way to your boutique now. I'm coming to see Helen. Ah, uh, no. You know, I have been out of work for some time now. So, I just need a little time to fix one or two things with the girls. That's not a problem. I'll just come and check up on you, then leave. Okay, see you soon. Bye. She sound that way. Is everything okay with her? <laughs> yeah. Well, you're welcome to Nice Things Collection. Here we sell the best of the best of Toki wares. Oh, well, mm -hmm. I can see that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we also have some place in town where we do ready to wear for both male and female. Good stuffs. Wow. Hmm. I'm very impressed. Thank you so much. <laughs> We should get your card and then here is ours. Oh, okay. That number right there. You a lawyer? Yes, I did study law. <laughs> then why are you not practicing? That's because I am a fashionista. I love fashion. So I, oh. I chose fashion over law practice. Wow, I mean, that's incredible and that's very rare to find. I'm, I'm very impressed. Thank you so <laughs> much. I, I am someone that go for talent. I have love for talent and I love fashion. Then my mom was a great fashion designer before she passed. Oh, um, I'm so sorry. My heartfelt condolences. What happened to her? We lost her to cancer. Um, I'm so sorry. Thank you. It's so it's good. So you're going for this one? Um, uh, yes, uh, I'll take the top. Um. Okay. So this is good. This is good. So I'll just go pack it over for you over there. 18 or 16? Okay, 16. Yes. All right, so, yeah, this one. Good morning, ma. Good morning, how are you? I'm fine. Where is your madam? She's over there. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, when my mom was alive, I was very close to her. Mm. It was just me, my mother, my 
younger sister and our adopted brother. Oh. Yes, just us together. So I learned this business from her. But I can beat my hands on my chest and say I am better than my mother today. Wow. Because these days we now use foreign machines to stone and sew our clothes. Wow. And the finishing is superb. Trust me, you can't tell the difference between the locally made ones here and the foreign ones. Well, honestly, I can see that and I'm very, very impressed. Thank you. Uh, well, um, one of these days I'll come with my babe so we can patronize you guys. Ah, I'm very impressed. I'm that, sure she'd like it. <laughs> that would be so nice. I yes. look forward to having both of you. Definitely. Around. You always see me. Thank you. So what's the name? Bobby. Ah, Mr. Bobby. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so some other time, I guess. Sure, definitely. All right. All Do right, take care. Okay. okay, that's fine. All right, fine. take care of yourself. I will. Ah, uh -uh, what is it? Um, who was that guy? Well, that guy is a customer that happened to walk in here because this is a boutique <laughs> hi yes come with me my friend oh yeah i think that was a successful meeting yeah come in Is there something I can do for you? No, really, sir. Okay. If there's nothing I can do for you, please return to your space. Um, sir, I just wanted to make sure you don't want anything. Like, is there anything I can do for you? Anything like what? Maybe keep your company. You want to keep me company in my office? Okay. Maybe if the office is not conducive enough, why don't we go to somewhere cooler? Like a hotel room or something? Are you raving mad? Have you suddenly lost it all or what? Look, I, I, I didn't mean it that way. All I'm saying is, I am young and I am very fertile. I can give you what your wife cannot. How is her? My baby is fine. <laughs> hey, your mother-in-law and your sister-in-law, are they still around? Nope, they are long gone. I thought as much. Ah uh ah. -uh. What do you mean? Your countenance. Oh. It changed a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I have decided to be happy despite whatever that is happening around me. Mm -hmm. I want to keep smiling in the faces of my enemies. You sound as if you know who your enemies are. Of course. They know themselves. How? Well. I don't know. This girl, see, what I have to say to you, Lucia, mm. is that you have to put your mother-in-law in her place. That woman has beaten more than she can chew. Mm -mm. Mama Harold is doing what every other mother-in-law would do. Olivia, what has suddenly come over you? Are you... Do you realize what you're doing? What if someone barges in on us? Don't you think that's going to be a shame? Look, all I'm saying is I want to make you feel happy, fella. I am young and I have all it takes to make you children. Are 
Are you okay? Take your filthy hands off me. Get out of my office right now. And don't just get out of my office. You're fired. Sir, please, please, you cannot fire me, please, sir. I, 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 I didn't mean to do it, sir. This, this did not happen. Please, I'm sorry. Please don't fire me. I don't want to influence myself. Walk out of this office, take your things, and leave this premises immediately. Sir, please, I'm I sorry. I said I don't want to repeat myself. Sir, please. Get out! What about the IVF Dr. Mitchell suggested to you and your husband? Mm -mm. I haven't given it a thought. You say, Lucia, what are you talking about? I'm not comfortable with it. I, I don't want, I don't know. I, I'm not interested. Why are you being irrational? IVF is not a bad thing. Okay. Let's say I decide to consider IVF it will still fail so what's the point you stop why are you sounding like someone who has lost hope <laughs> there's no harm in trying I lost hope a long time ago hey. see let me tell you Lucia there are a lot of couples I know that tried IVF and trust me they did not re hello yes who is this what? No! What is it? What is it? Oh my god, please! Can you say you can't talk to me? thinking of coming to pick you for lunch mm. but then I fired Olivia why <sighs> Olivia came to my office to say you see what <laughs> I honestly don't know what came over her Imagine her telling me she would give me what my wife cannot give to me. That she would have as many children as I want. Can you beat that? <laughs> I think it's actually becoming clearer now. What are you getting at? You know, someone called my phone at the office and told me to hurry to your office and catch you red-handed making out with your secretary. Yes. Me. Sleeping with my secretary. Okay. Where is she? Where is she now? Come on, babe. I think whoever is doing this is close to our family and the person is responsible for our childlessness. You think so? I know so. So what do we do? We just have to find a way to unmask the person behind the mask. Nobody deserves this. Nobody deserves 
used to be treated this way No, she don't deserve this No, she don't deserve this No, she don't deserve to be treated this way Hello, kids. I lost my job. I don't understand. How do you mean? Why are you asking me how? Why are you asking me how? We know you want to ask me to go and seduce my boss. And I'm fired. Uh, uh, so, what happened? You didn't succeed? What are you saying? I said I just got fired because you asked me to go seduce my boss. What? What are you saying? A simple job to get your boss seduced and sleep with him, you couldn't deliver. I had even called the wife and told the wife that Harold is packed down with the secretary. My goodness. Why would you call his wife? What, what was that what we planned? You only told me to get pregnant for him and just help give your friend a child. Why would you call his wife? M -m 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 Must I tell you everything? Are you a child? Where are you? I need to see you. Okay. You want to know where I am, isn't it? Oh, fine. You want to know where I am? Oh, listen up. Listen, listen, listen. I am somewhere around Usumia Junction. If you just enter the street, you'll see my car parked by the side. So I think it would be right you come over, then let's go somewhere and then enjoy ourselves. No, no, don't worry. Just come. Let's go and have fun. Are you serious right now? Hello? He hung up on me. How stupid can I be? Wait, 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 wait. I don't understand you. You mean your secretary was trying to seduce you? Are you serious right now? Uh-huh. All these are Samba girls. What they cannot do does not exist. So she wants to lure you to sleep with her? Yes. She wanted to. But she got what she deserved. She got fired. Oh, you said her? Oh yes, I did. Wow. See. I'm not saying sacking her wasn't good, but I mean, why just sack her? I mean, you should have have a taste of it, you know. Stop moping at me, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you should have enjoyed her before you let her go. Esther. Did that just come from you? You, you mean I should have slept with Olivia in my office? Oh, okay, now I see what the problem is. Okay, you have a problem with enjoying her in your office? But that means, why don't you then go ahead and make reservation in one of these good hotels in the city and enjoy her? I mean, you have opportunities to sleep with that girl. Look at that girl. Isn't she beautiful? You. That girl is young and beautiful. She's active. Harold, you need a child. You need a woman who will give you a baby. Someone who's going to make you be a father. You're saying I should have slept with Olivia. Kesta, what kind of a friend are you? A special kind of friend. A friend who watches over his own friend. A friend who understands the need to be part of a relationship. You are my friend and it is my responsibility to protect you. I cannot cheat on my wife, Kester. You see, I don't know why you're starting to be your sounding, but trust me, what you hold sacrosanct is what other men harbor. A little bit of infidelity will not kill you. Don't forget, 
You've been married for so many years and you don't have a child. Harold, this is an opportunity to have a child. And you want me to do it at the expense of my marriage? Oh, Harold. Harold, listen. Whether you like it or not, you are married, yes I know. But your wife cannot give you a child. She's barren. Is she barren? It's coming. Feel free. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Wow, look at my baby. <laughs> good evening. Yes, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. God, you're so beautiful. <laughs> Thank it's you. Cool. You came back. Yes, yes, of course. Um, I got something for you. You know, I went to the boutique today. So, here. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> All this for me? Of course, you deserve even more. <laughs> Have to, <laughs> but they are beautiful. Yes, you Thank like you. it, right? Yes, good, I good. love it. I mean, <laughs> I just keep thinking which man in his right senses would leave a beautiful lady like you? Point of correction, I left him. Oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, wow. You're making me blush, please. Nothing, um... Oh. God. God himself created you, I must say. Well, I'm, I'm glad you like your gift. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you around. Oh, well, of course, I... Um, Okay, I have to be on my way. I understand. Thank you once again. Alright, please take care of yourself. mind I would like to get back to what I was doing so it has gotten to that point where you then ask me indirectly to leave your office I'm just telling you that I have very important things to do meaning meaning I am busy <laughs> Harold, 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 Harold. you should be appreciative you know a friend like me always give you advice of so much I am concerned about your world. You are mocking me! That's what you're doing! You're not concerned! I am not mocking you! Your wife is barren and you know it! I don't want to start creating scene here in your office. But let me put it before your face. Your wife is barren. She cannot give you a child. The earlier you begin to think to make a child outside your wedlock, the better for you. Did I tell you that the person who sent Olivia to seduce me, also called my wife to tell her that I'm pants down with my secretary in this office. Blood of Juicy Mary. What? Well, now you know. Good radiance to bad rubbish. Absolutely bad rubbish. Harold. You haven't seen anything yet. I will so crush you, Harold. I will deal with you. Me, Kesta, K. 
king of bachelors. So you, 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 you went behind me to marry a girl I introduced you to. Hello, this girl was my girl. This girl was my girl. Simply because you met this girl with me, I introduced you to this girl. What did you do, Harold? Harold, you went behind me as we talked this same girl into marrying you, and now you're enjoying riches. No, King of bachelors doesn't know what he's doing. Oh my goodness. Ah! I will sting you that you will shout. You will scream. Harold, what I will do to you? Ears will hear. Mouths cannot speak. Hi! Well, this is just the beginning. I have started stinging you. And they got no idea. I'm telling you that I can assure you even if this is the last thing I will do Harold Nonsense So how are you my beautiful gorgeous Lucia? I am fine I know you missed me. Oh, please. Because I miss you as well. Kesta, why are you still single at this age? Hmm? How do you expect me to be married? Of course, I've been waiting for you, and I know you definitely come back to me. Are you out of your mind? Are you sure you're okay? Because something is definitely wrong with you. You know, I met you before Harold did. Meaning what? I met you before Harold had tweeted me and married you. And you know it. Something is definitely wrong with you. You, you are out of your mind. Kesta, let me ask you a question. What is your problem? Hmm? You have Jennifer. She's a woman in your life. Why don't you go ahead and marry her? Oh my goodness. I can't believe you're bringing this topic of Jennifer up again. Jennifer is just there temporarily. I mean, she's going to hold the nails until the person who is supposed to occupy the vacuum comes up. And who is this person? Well, she's in existence and she's seated next to me. My baby. <laughs> You're definitely out of your mind. There's, there is no way out of it. You, you've lost it. Kesta, what? Were you the one that called me hours ago to, to tell me that my husband is making out with his secretary in his office with an unknown number? Were you the person? Hell no. I mean, why would I think of Liar! You? Oh, gosh. Oh, how dare you call me a liar? Of course, that is what you are. Kesta, what is this? Why are you doing this? What do you stand to gain from all of this? You paid Olivia to go seduce my husband and then called me to inform me that my husband is making out with Olivia. Thank God my husband has dignity. Unlike some he goats, huh? You lost again. Chester doesn't lose. Listen, if I can't have you, Harold will never. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. Harold already have me, and he is not going anywhere. Hmm? So just go. Just go, eh? Go and find a woman to marry. Get over me. You can never, ever, ever have me. Not in this lifetime. Useless man. Fool. Hello Vera, 
Hi, big sis. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Are you back? Oh no, I'm on my way back from the airport. Wow. Have you have you closed? Have you closed from the shop? No, I'm still at the boutique. I've had a bad day. Oh, what happened? My darling, God has finally revealed the face behind the mask. Are you kidding me? Remember that encounter I had with that madman? You're not being real like right now, sis. You know what? Don't worry. When you when you come, I will tell you everything in person, okay? I cannot wait. I can't wait to hear all of it. Hey! Alright, I'll, I'll be expecting you. Bye. Okay, okay. While I was in the bathroom, yeah. something dropped in my spirit. What is it? I think I know who is after us. Who? Kester. Kester? Yes, Kester. I have a feeling Kester paid Olivia to do what she came to do with me today. That nonsense she did. Why, why would you think that? Well, for some time now, he's been advising me to consider impregnating Olivia so she can give me children. What? And, 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 and you're just saying it to me now? something unusual about Kester. I can't seem to place my finger on it, but I'm certain there's something weird about him. <laughs> yeah, I do. I like it. It's such a classy restaurant. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. Thank you for the accolades. <laughs> I'm so glad and honored that someone actually appreciates what we're doing here. I'm lost. I mean, you're getting me all confused. Well, this is one of my achievements here in Nigeria. Serious? Yes. And I own two hotels in this state. Wow! Oh, by the grace of God. This is great. You are <laughs> doing well you. for yourself. Really? Yeah. Are you sure about that? 
Thank you very much. I appreciate. You're welcome. Um, let me call on the waiter to get us something to eat and drink. Okay. Oh, feel free. Um, waiter. Waiter. something I've been meaning to tell you for, for some time now. Okay. I'm all ears. Before you came back from Ghana. Okay. Kesta and I dated. No. No! Baby, it, it was it was it was the past. It was before we came together. It was, it was before. No, baby. No. How can I be married to my friend's girlfriend? Ex. But it doesn't make any difference. It makes a whole lot of difference because we broke up. He was cheating on me. Hey, babe, what's up? I'm fine. And you? Um, where are you? I am on my way to the bank. Oh, the bank? Oh, I see. So, when will you be done from the bank? I don't know, but soon. No, no, come on. I'm just ask you, you're my baby. I need to ask about your whereabouts. When I'm done, I'm just going to go and help mom. See, you know now. Oh, okay. It's alright. Um, so, I'll get to talk to you later. Take care of you. Uh, alright, baby. I love you too. Bye. something from the sound of your voice over the phone and I decided to come here and see who you are with this time around but Kesa you did not disappoint me she was missing her way so when I saw her on the balcony I pulled her clothes I was trying to tell her you go left you go right then you pass through the middle and this babe babe what is it where you go my mommy mommy yes oh go kill them oh no no you go kill them That was how we broke up. He came back begging, but I wasn't moved. How long did you guys date? Three years. Oh, three years, babe. Three, three good years and you did you thought it wise to, to hide that away from me? I'm sorry. That was very wrong of me, but Kesta. Kesta is the worst mistake of my life. It's something I, I, I don't want to remember or go back to. More reason why you should have told me about it. Knowing the kind of person that Kesta is, his lifestyle. Kesta is lewd, he's, he's irresponsible. No wonder he's been saying all kinds of nasty things about you. 
just to make me get real and start sleeping around. That's what he's been doing. Yeah. I've heard one or two persons say it to my ears that my husband married an older woman because of her money. Oh, God. He's actually said that in my presence before. Baby. He just wants you to leave so he can come back. He wants me to leave. Wait, he wants to come back to the person. He's been trying to convince me that is that that she's older than me in every ramification. That you hid your age from me. He's been saying all sorts of things. How you hid your age, how you're not telling me your real age. He said that. He said all that and even more. But I just ignored him because I've always known he's a bitter and and jealous friend. What has she done? What is her crime? Nobody deserves this. Nobody deserves this. Nobody deserves to be treated this way. Nobody can take this. Nobody. Um, Jennifer. Yes, Bobby. You radiate like the morning sun. Thank you. You are the star in my darkness. You're beautifully and naturally endowed. You know, I have come to understand that everything that happens in our lives happens for a reason. And with all humility, I hope I get it right this time with you. You are talking in parables. Jennifer. Yes. I love you with every ounce of my being. I want to create perfume memories with you. I want to travel the world with you. I want to have beautiful kids with you. So please, with all humility. Will you marry him? Cause she's got a good heart. If are you okay? Yes. Uh, yes, yes, I'm fine. I don't mean I'm um, fine. I guess I took you down memory lane. I'm so sorry. Of course I'll marry you. Are, are you sure about this? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 
You are hiding Miss Organic from me. Is it the man that wants to marry her? Mama, any cause, any cause, okay? Go ahead, Miss Organic. Mama, organic cream is the cream young girls of these days, Ima. They challenge it. Now has your skin. Mama, that is what they call organic cream. Not those days again. But I'm Mama, I'm a brother. Mama. No, 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 no. Hey, Mama. Mama. Hey, because there are you, my man, that are confused. Oh, let me go. Try to why I summoned you. Okay. No. Mm. I don't like the way things are turning out. Yes, Mama, you sounded worried in your call. What is the problem? Echezona. Echezona is my problem. Herod, your brother, is trying to kill me. Mm -hmm. If I die, if anything happens to me, let him not attend my burial. Mm. Mm. Mama, please, can you just allow Herod and his wife? Huh? Just allow them. Do, do you even know how, how they are feeling concerning their problem? What do you want the young man to do? No. Echezona has been married for so many years. Will I say seven to eight years in counting? And you, that just married a few years ago, has two children and your wife is pregnant with the third one. Mama, for the fact that Herod and I are blood brothers does not mean that we have the same destiny. And don't forget that Nkema Konam was already pregnant for me before I got married to her. Does it matter? Obrihana mm -hmm. Chana marriage. It shows that she is fertile. Not that Awani, Awani water goddess. Will he didn't know get you when one one we talk gonna go to the uche katola wasa? My dear sister, we believe Kesta is responsible for our predicament. Kesta? What says you of all people should know that pointing and accusing finger on someone without a concrete evidence is out of place. You're but, not even sure. But it is obvious. I asked him and he couldn't even deny it. So you even think I don't know this case of a guy? I've not met him before. You know you guys were dating and I was in London then. So I don't even know what his face looks like. You don't know him? I don't know him. Hold on, let me... Uh, you don't know him? No, I don't know him. Uh, hold on. I think I can still find his page on Instagram. So let's okay. see. There you go. That is the Mugu. This face looks familiar. Like, I think serious? I've met, yeah. Oh, oh. I remember. Sis, do you remember the fool I told you about the other day? The one that was following me when I was coming out from um, the shopping mall. The same one you said met you when you, you were stranded on the road. You had a flat tire. Exactly. Ah, sis, he's the one. This is the person. Now look at him. Run. Run for your life. This guy. He is a he good. Me, that is what he is. Yes, you're cool. Uh. <laughs> Brother Gerald, what Mama is saying is that Brother Harold should go and pick a new wife and get married soon. Simple, no problem, no issue. Will you shut up? Do you know the implications of polygamy? Do you know? Uh -huh. I do. The only way out is to send Lucia back in. Mm. Then he will marry a woman that could bear him children. Hey. Mama. Then there will be no polygamous or polygamy. Mm -hmm. Mama, can you hear yourself? Mama, where is your conscience? You want Harold to, to send Lucia away and bring in another woman. Mm. Hey, Mama, let me ask you. Mm. What if Lucia is your daughter? Mm. What are you going to do? To fear what? What you put me on my nose to my nephew, my Lucia can never be my daughter. None of my 
daughter will be barren. We are fertile. Yes. Ima ku monenji. Mbo mbo. Eto eno. Ise ishi. Le na odo don wa mono. Eh? My father has 24 children. Two wives. I have six. You are going to have three very soon. Chine do. Where to? What are you not talking? So please, why I called you is that I want you to escort us to Mazi Baker's house tomorrow to marry one of his beautiful daughters. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay? Amaka. Yeah. Amaka. To be precise. Yes. For your brother. Because in a good year, fertility in her way will not Eh? Mama. Yes? Please, I will not be part of that conspiracy. Okay. If that is the reason you called me here, cut me out. I will not be part of it. No, wait, 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 wait. I will not be part of that conspiracy, Mama. Calm down. You will be part of it. Oh? That is why you are here. Mm -hmm. A man supposed to be there. And you are the man of the house because you've proven yourself to be a father. Simple. I hope you still still remember to take us to our orange berry spot. I'll be any issue. Ah, uh, you can go with him, or oh. I'm not even going anywhere. You will go. You will go. Sis, I can't date anything less. I mean, that guy is not my class. He's not my kind of man. God forbid, he can never be your kind of man. He can't even have someone like you. Amen. Amen. To think that he said, I should come back to him. Me, go back to him. Mm. He said that. He said it to my face. He said it to my face, and then I told him, I thought you have a woman in your life. Jennifer, why don't you go ahead and marry her? And do you know what this idiot said to me? What did he say? He said, she's not my kind of woman. <laughs> <laughs> that guy said that to you. Sis. <laughs> I mean, what kind of a human being is that? That is a fool. <laughs> is he? That, that, that I should allow him do it since my husband is impotent. No, he didn't say that to you. He said it to my face. Sis, I think that guy is raving bonkers. I thought he was a madman. No, but how would you have sat down and have such conversation with that son of a lunatic? Well, I mean, how would you have done that? I just allowed him to keep spewing rubbish because <laughs> I wanted something from him. And I got it. Anyways, you did the right thing. I mean, that's not a bad idea at all. But if truly everything you just said, Kesta did, like, if truly he did all of that, then you're not far from the truth. Well, he agreed. Well, I think he did all of that just to get back at you. Maybe because you left him for Herod. That was exactly what he said. But since you know I left him long before Harrod even came into the picture, before Harrod came, came, came into Nigeria from Ghana, we're already done. But since that guy is mad. No, 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 he is mad. But I gave it to him. Really? Oh, I did. I trust you. <laughs> Are you the only woman in this planet, Ed? Why is it frustrating you? Man, at this point, I, I feel like seeing him and giving him my own peace of mind. Mama, do you want to turn your back against your first son because he's childless? I want Etros and her to give me grandchildren. Is it too much to ask for? Mama, have you forgotten what Brother Harold did for us in this family? Harold is the first son. Anything he did is demanded of him. All his responsibility. Brother Harold single-handedly trained Every one of us, up to university level. Look at Amanda. She's done with her university. About going for youth service. Courtesy of Brother Harold. Mama, do you know that my wife and I pray for Harold and his family every morning just for them to have children? Which I know that you and Amanda have never done. <laughs> Let me shock you. New splash, Mobile Amanda. Do you know that all these things that we thought Harold has been doing 
It has been loose your foot in the belt. Mm. What can you say? A little shock. The house we thought Harold built in the city is owned by Lucia. She built that house with her money. Amanda, what is Mama talking about? Jennifer was the man, man you were talking yes, about. Yes, yes, oh, of sure. course, of course. Put everything together, eh? I'm going with them. <laughs> so you are glowing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Zara. Hello. Oh, so good to see you again. Yes, yes. And he proposed. Oh, my God. <laughs> Girl, I am so happy for you. Come Thank here. you. Thank you. How? <laughs> Um, our wedding is coming up next month. You don't By say. special grace of God. Yes, <laughs> I will be there live. Of course. That's yes. a promise. Yes. <laughs> of course. Congratulations to you. Oh, yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Oh, Bobby, meet my sister Vera. Oh, wow. Vera, nice to meet you. The pleasure is mine. <laughs> wow, this place is beautiful. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Want to shop more, darling? Oh, no. You are Fire in the over. right place, so come with me. Oh, okay. Oh, oh my god, see this one, see this one, baby, see this one. I spot. think it comes with this. Ah, exactly. <laughs> Take anything you want. Yes, so, Brother Gerald. It's Auntie Vera that revealed this revelation to us. And she's even the one that sent us packing out of the house. You both went to the city? Yes, brother. I escorted Mama to go to the city. To go and see Brother for her to cook what the native doctor, the concussion the native doctor gave to her to put inside brother's food. Native doctor? Yes. Mama told the native doctor that she wants brother to chase the wife out of the house. So that was why we went to Lagos. It's not me, oh. It's my mother that said I should escort her. How can you put a son that in a peaceful marriage that God has joined together? Was that the reason I left Lagos? Hey, Mama. I, I, all I, all I had wanted was to, to be sure that my first son has an heir. Oh my, you went too far. I did not. The Tibia is around the, 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 the community. I did not travel. Mama, you are supposed to pray for your children. I was praying. Are we not? I have been praying. Especially for Chukwe Chozona. Eh? When you are praying and the Satan is living in the house, what do you expect? Would the prayer work easily? So I have to do anything possible to make sure that my, 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 my child doesn't die childless. Oh, good afternoon, sir. Oh, please, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, please. My dispatch riders are actually busy, so that's why they don't get to deliver. Oh, in two hours, you get it in two hours. Yes, one of them is on his way here. So once once he gets here, you he take you take them to yeah to God is going to Hello. Hello. You. Surprise, surprise. How Esther, are you? right? That's it. You know my name already. Impressive. So tell me, how are you? What are you doing in my office? Well, let's say. Yes, I was hovering around the neighborhood and decided to surprise you. For what? No, go ahead and say it. 
Why exactly do you want to see me? I can't remember having a business proposal or transaction with you. Why are you here? Come on, say, hey, 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 why are you being in a hurry? Why are you being so harsh on me? You're embarrassing me. Oh, please shut up. You barge into my office and then you're telling me why I'm shouting at you. I don't get it. What are you doing here? Vera, can you please keep it low? You're embarrassing me, please. What do you mean, Kompo? Do you even know where you're seated? Do you know where you are? Now get up. So? Stand up and leave my office this minute before I do something regrettable. I wonder why you're sounding this way, man. Listen, I just came to see you and nothing more. It's about us. I think you should just listen and hear me out. I think you'll love what I'm about to Can't say. Just stop or whatever thing you seem to call your name. Do you realize I can make you disappear from this town this minute? Like in a twinkle of an eye. Do you realize that? I don't even understand what you're saying. Your name is Vera and what's so special about Vera? Listen, I think you're overreacting. Why don't you just calm down and let's talk about ourselves? Stand up and leave my office this minute! Who does Vera think she is? Oh, seriously. I need to find out who you are for you to have this such temerity to even ask me to walk out of your office like that. Hey, you're overreacting. That's not nice. You're doing me, right? Yes, come on. Relax, I know you're just playing hard to get. I know this is just between you and I. I do. Miss Flash, you just met the wrong girl. You're going to make your life so miserable that whenever you hear of your Conqua family, you will have shivers running down your spine. Idiot, get out of my office! I'm sorry to ask. Did you just say the Okonko family? Are, are you related to Lucia? Do not have time to waste. Stand up and leave my office this minute. Leave and don't ever return again. Get out! How come no one ever mentioned to me that Vera is Lucia's younger sister? Oh, Mosi embarrassment. I, I don't fuck up. Guess that you've messed up big time. What kind of mess is this? Me that was already celebrating that I have gotten someone that befits me. Someone sumptions, someone a little bit sweeter. Hi. I should have known Vera happens to be the younger sister to Lisa who studied in England. I should have known. Almost the kind of embarrassment that girl gave me. See the kind of insult that girl gave me in her office.
Hello, big sis. Guess who just left my office now? Kesta! Oh, you trust me. I gave that bastard a run for his life. Oh, I'm sure he's not going to sleep this night. <laughs> you needed to see the way he, he ran out of my office. Oh, he better not. He won't even dare come back to my office unless he wants to die. Oh, all right, sis. That's no problem. That's no problem. It's fine. All right, take care of yourself. Fool. Let me just see you an inch close to me. And then you regret the day you ever met me. Rubbish. Gosh. That bastard just spent one day. <sighs> well, I'm, I'm very proud of you, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, me too. I love the engagement ring. No, it's Ooh. gold. Pure gold. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're the best. Yes, anything for you. Thank God I met you. I blessed the day I saw you. Um, thank God. I found you. Thank God. <laughs> thank are, God. We are going to create perfume memories together. I'm telling you. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. May God bless the day with each what other. What do you like me to get for you? <gasps> oh my God, sit down my friend. Oh. The guy I told you about. Kesta! Wait, you mean that is Kesta? Yes, it's like this guy is 40 or something. Ah, what is he doing here? I see. Well, I'd like to stop taunting him. Serious? And appreciate him for letting you go that day. Baby, do you have to do all that? Yes, I insist. I have to. Gosh. Please. Fine, if you insist. Yes. Oh, that guy really dealt with me. Well, I thank God he's in the past now. <laughs> okay. It go. looks like horse shit. Right. <laughs> Let's start with me, Joe. <laughs> hmm. Hello, young man. <laughs> Hi, baby. Oh, well, um, my name is Bobby. <laughs> so I was just driving by with my angel here, and she said to me, Oh, look at Kesta. <laughs> but then, then I turned and I saw you, and I was like, Okay. I thought it was right to stop by and thank you for letting her go that day. Uh huh. Yes. Kesta the loser. Because if you had not. <laughs> Hmm. I wouldn't have found my missing ring. Oh, <laughs> um, Babe, 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 hold on. Who is this comedian? Who is this one that looks like a skit maker? Overrated Yahoo boy. What's up? I don't know who you are. Mm. But you must be thinking crack to think I was going to let you have my wife. Baby, come, let's go. Probably he's an Uber man that gave you lifts. Come, let's go. Do, do not touch me! You are the one taking cracks! Oh my god, Kester! You've lost it! You must have been a <laughs> big fool and a dollar to let her go. Exactly, my darling. Exactly. My love, I don't have time for dead people working. Let's go and have fun. Mm. Let's go. Look, let's go. <laughs> That's how you treat a woman. Oh my god, hurt up! You know what they say? He who laugh, laugh, laugh best. <laughs> oh my, of course, my darling. She never bears no ground. Oh my word! Thank you so much. <laughs> That is how real men treat a lady.
used to be treated this way No, she don't deserve this No, she don't deserve this No, she don't deserve to be treated this way so the other day you ran away, you did not even tell me what was pursuing you. I'm sorry my friend, it was a customer. The customer called and said she was at our showroom. So I needed to rush off and go take her measurements. If not, she would leave. That hmm. was why. That means this customer has so much money. You are money. Uh -uh. Hey, see who is talking. Me and money. You that ran and see something was pursuing you because of a customer. I, I would like money pass, not be you. <laughs> well, you know what they say, money makes the world go round. <laughs> money is good, please. Yes, <laughs> so how is your family? <sighs> we are fine, my friend. Everybody is fine. Hmm. <laughs> Lucia, yes. how far? The IVF, have you done it? Mm -mm. I told you I'm not going to do it. She moved. What do you mean? What is your reason for not doing this? Lucia, I don't know what you are thinking, you know, but see you see monopause. I am telling you the truth. I don't know what you are doing, you know, but be fast before the nine letter words come knocking on your door. I know you were looking out for me, okay? I understand. It's just that I do not want to do this. You don't want to do what? See you! Me that I am not yet married, I am even considering going for surrogacy. Sorrow what? Sorrow I don't want to be lonely when I'm old though. I want when I'm old I will have a companion. At least I can have a child I can say, go here, buy this for me, bring water for me, bring this for me. Ha! Gina, you are a young woman. What do you mean surrogacy? Are you giving up on yourself already? I've given up. No, I haven't given up. You are young and you are very beautiful. So please oh, don't come around this city that I'm waiting for. In short, let us cheers to my future in-law. What do you mean? We have to cheers. To my future in law. Nobody can take this. <laughs> yes, to my future in law. Don't come and spoil drink that I've not drank of. From the shows of her feet to the top of her head She is the epitome of beauty and grace With tears in her eyes, pain in her heart She never bears no grudge She's ready to love whenever, however, wherever She's ready to help Wherever, however, whomever You are She will never, ever, ever disappoint Cause she's got a good Nobody deserves this Nobody deserves to be treated this way No, she don't deserve this No, she don't deserve this No, she don't deserve to be treated this way Yeah She deserves pain Friends. How am I supposed to know that you are not? 
Mama. Gerald! Where are you off with your bag? To my base, of course. Eh? You are packed already? Yes. Gerard, you're simply out of your mind. <laughs> what is it? What do you mean, what is it? We are preparing to go to Mazi Begwe's house to perform the marriage rites of Amaka. And you ran off? Mama, did you just hear yourself? You want to go and marry a wife for Brother Herod without seeking his consent first? Mama will not be part of that movement. Look at me. Get inside. What do you mean? Eh? I mustn't seek for your brother's permission to get a new wife for him. No! Not when Lucia will not allow him to think straight. She has used her money to becloud your brother's sense of reasoning. Mama. She has beclouded him. Mama, Mama, we are talking about money. Mama, if you had money or your late parents had money, my father would have not doubt that illness. Oh, see. I'm not a queen. Mokem. I called you so that you will aid us to Mazi Bekwe's compound. That's all. Mama, I'm not going to be part of that movement. Eh? Yes. I am not going to be part of that movement. Negawant, your other siblings are already on their way coming. Together, we are going to get a new wife for your brother. So, go inside and relax. Only keep from the bam. Mother, Mama, it is unheard of. It is unheard of for you to go and arrange for marriage for my brother without his consent. Don't get me involved. I shouldn't get involved? Yes. Why? Run why? Mama, don't get me involved because it's abnormal. We all have your brother's interests at heart. If you love your brother like you claimed, you have to follow us to Mazi Bekwe's house to get a new wife who can give your brother a child. And equally give me grandchildren. Or do you want your brother to die childless? <laughs> Eh? Why are you stressing yourself? If he wants to go back to the city, allow him to go. If you ask me, it's your own personal decision if he to support brother or not. Exactly. If he doesn't want to support, Ola, leave him. Mama, if supporting brother is to draw you people to go and marry another wife for him, I am not part of it. Ha. I am not going. No, 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 speed. Hmm? Uh, let me have your key. Look at it. This is your key. Yes. Okay, okay. Follow me. Mama, Mama. What is she up to? Mama. You come and be cold. Mama. Oh yeah. Enter. Nay. I will not beg you again. We will not beg you again. Your other siblings on their way will escort me to Mazi Bequest house. Yes. If and you will want to go and marry the brother. You are you are free. Oh, no. yes. I am not going to be part of the bamboo. I am not going to be part of the No, 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 let me help you. Eat drama. Bye bye. Foolish boy. Why were you even begging? Idiot. Lock my gate. Run away. Run away. Go. Why were you even begging? Go. 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 Gerald, what's up? Good morning. How is your wife and your kids? Uh, we are doing great. Uh, brother, there's a problem. A problem? What is it exactly? From the village? Gerald, I hope there's no problem. Mama is the problem here. Yeah. Yes. So what exactly is the problem? Wait, where is Mama? Uh, brother, you will not believe what I'm about to tell you now. Mama and our other siblings are on their way going to marry Amaka for you today. Amaka? Who is Amaka, please? Uh, Amaka now, that is uh, Nani, Nani Beka's uh, last daughter, yes. Wait, Nani Beka from Akabupu? Yes. You should know him now. 
So, according to Mama, he said that our other siblings are on their way, coming back to join her to go and marry a marker for you. But I specifically told her that I will not be part of that conspiracy. So, I left them in the village. I'm on my way going back to the city. I just said I should call you and let you know. Gerald, um, thank you so much. I honestly don't even know how to show my, my appreciation, okay? But I will call you later on so we can have a proper discussion about this, okay? Thank you so much. From the show of her feet to the top of her head. Is everything okay? Don't worry. Let's go. Mama will never cease to amaze me. Eh? Imagine Mama going to marry a lady for me without seeking my own consent. Well, you know your mother. She will stop at nothing until she gets exactly what she wants. Oh, she married a wife for you, right? And she'll bring the wife to my matrimonial home. She go ahead and do that. I'm waiting for her. I am waiting for her to bring a wife to my home. Then, imagine Mama going to marry Amaka for me. Amaka that is not even up to Amanda's age. She's going to marry Amaka for me. A grown up man like me. Okay. I'm waiting for her. I, I want to see that magic that they will pull. I'm waiting for her. Wait, Amanda, mm -hmm. do you think old women doesn't have eyes for good things? See, as soon as your brother beholds her, hmm. he will fall head over heels of her. <laughs> hey, <laughs> she is very beautiful. <laughs> hey, look at me. I'm me, my brother's wife to be. <laughs> Everywhere large, everywhere full. <laughs> hey! The moment he touches her, I will be players. Hey, players. There will be go poem. And then you go. Man you. Manchester. Everywhere. Hey! Everywhere. I don't need to buy mail. No, Mama. I forgot what are you doing? Yes, it's oh, my my word. Word. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Pico, 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 pick the beans quick, oh, so that we can make food. <laughs> hey, hey. Come in, huh? Have you packed your things? Because tomorrow, mm, to your husband's house. Yeah. Mama, my things are packed. I cannot wait to get to my husband's house tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Hey! Uh, I am happy for you. I mean, I'm so happy for you. If I'm the one that is getting married, I would just eh, be making shakara. I'm happy for you. Thank you. Bye. Hey! Mama, find a man first. Your own will come. Your own will come. My man will come. Get a man of first. My man will come. Your my man will come. come. Oh, my man will come. Oh, my man. Where is your man? I'm Get not him. He's Bring coming. him home. I need to see him. Because mm. after Amaka must have given birth, I'm facing you again at your own. Oh, my. He may check one need exclusive. I'll come your own person. He did not want exclusive. Oh. Okay, man. Oh, my mom. Mama 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 mom.
I didn't ask. Hmm. I will cook it. I did not ask. Oh. I told you. When you see a wise material, hmm. you will know. Yes. I didn't ask. Mama, eh? I, I will, will make the beans. Welcome, Mama. Uh huh. I'm working on the job, Nibo. Mama, Mama. How are you? <laughs> I don't get time for problem, Wala, hey, Mama. I hope your guy is around. Yes, Ma. Oba, I'm down for inside, inside of my house, Wala. Uh -huh. Yes. Amaka, Ma. Doba akba, doba akba, Nana. Uh huh. This is Amaka. He's your organ's new wife. Oh yeah, greet her. Good afternoon, Mama. Wala, Mama. Wala, it's a lie. I don't know say my organ. I'm married for new Nalini, Wala. Yes. Uh, now that you know, at least take her bag inside. Okay, ma. Hey, but light and light. Nobody deserves this. Nobody deserves this. Nobody deserves to be treated this way. Nobody can take this. Nobody can take this. Nobody can take this. Oga, Oga, Oga. I'm married to your wife. I know you. I know you. See me from here. I make a video like this. Alright. Hello, Batala, Batala, Batala. I'm about to send the girl me. Thank you. Oh, come on. Come inside. Okay. Never mind. I'm not going to go here. Greet me now. Haven't you noticed your mother? Can I mo? Amaka, Mama. This is your husband's house. And that is your husband. Greet him. My husband. Good evening, sir. <laughs> um bring your bag. Let me show you to go. Go, 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 go in where? Huh? Go in where? Mama, what is this? Hmm? What is this? You brought in a stranger into my house as if that is not enough. You are taking her inside. Inside where? Hey, hey. Baron! Enough! Amaka is not a stranger. Echazona mm -hmm. knows who she is. Baby! Hey, hey. What's the baby? Gimwa. Baby? Is that why she doesn't want to give birth? Eh? Well? Tell her that Amaka is your new wife and she has come to stay. Your family has resulted to bringing you a girl who is fertile that can give children since she refused to give. Mama, how long that you have had it up to here with you? Mama, what is it? Mama, oh, it's Mama, listen. Up to here. Mama, 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 listen, listen to me. Uh, listen, take this girl. I don't care where you brought her from. Take her out of my house now. If you don't do it, I will do something both of us will regret. Are you all right? Is this how to appreciate what your siblings and I did? Oh, talk is each other. Eh? Listen. You have to listen to me now. If there's anyone to leave, it should be this man woman. Me. Amaka is not going anywhere. She has come to stay. I should leave my house. I should leave my house. Which Mama? house? My house. Which house? Back your things again from here. Back which thing? Go where? Nep. Sit down. Mama, I think I can't do anything, right? Stand up and get out of my house now. Get out of my house now! Come on, get out! Open that door now! Open that door! Get out! Open that door! 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 Open that door!
want me to do now? You came to the village and told my father that you want to marry me for your first son. Now we are here, they're asking us to go back. Amaka. Amaka. Amaka Biko. The owner of the house doesn't want you. So I don't know what to do. It's better we go. Mama, what do you mean? That woman is the owner of the house. The house belongs to her. Not my son. Mama, so what am I going to do now? We're going back to the village now. Mommy, I'm not going back to the village. You told me that I'm coming here to meet my husband. I'm coming to bear to, to have children for him. Now you say we should go back to the village. I cannot go back to the village, Mama. You got to one word to them. Will you force yourself on them? No, answer me. Mama, I left everything in the village, followed you, followed you, came to the city. Now they're saying we should go back. Mama, I will not go back empty-handed. Amaka, you are not going back empty-handed. I know on a park, Ngolo bread, Ngolo Panyage, Ijidanaka, I never. Come, let us go. Mama, my children will suck my breast. My husband is here now. My husband is here. Mama, which kind of thing is this now? Hey. Oh. What was Mama thinking? Huh? Bringing a woman into my matrimonial home and say, say, say it's your wife. Hey, what, what, what was that? I will never forgive her for this one. I will never. I cannot remember telling her that I needed another wife. I did not mention that to her. Yeah. Barriness. Barriness. Barriness is something I will never wish upon my enemy. God forbid. I don't wish any woman to be barren in this world. Oh, yes, baby, baby, don't do this. Stop mentioning that. Stop saying we are barren. We are not barren. Well, what is it called? Hmm? Ten years of childlessness. Ten good years! I've not even had one miscarriage, not even a teddy bear. What do you call it? I don't blame Mama. I mean, I don't blame her. I mean, she's a mother who wants what's best for her child. Who wants her child to have children and give her grandchildren, right? So, this is not her fault. This is not her fault. Best no grudge. She's afraid it's your love. Whenever, however, wherever it takes, she's ready to help. Wherever, however, whoever you are, she'll so if you people are calling me just because you want me to come back. I am sorry I'm not doing that. If you're calling me to haul insults on me and my wife, I am sorry I will not take it. I'm not coming back to that meeting. I'm off to the city as I speak to you. Babe, I am. I, I'm so sorry. I didn't know it was you. I thought it was that mischief maker. I'm so sorry, my love. Who else am I talking about? Of course it's her. Do you know Mama could knife with two of my uncles to cast aspersions on you and I? Can you just imagine? I just thank her that I did not overreact because if I had done it, I wonder what I'll be saying right now. Huh? I am so pissed right now, but I thank God that I just respected myself and respected my uncles because they were very elderly men. 
Mama has successfully made me look worthless before my kinsmen. Yes, it's that bad. As I'm speaking to you right now, I I I am so enraged. I I I I, I walked out on them and drove out, drove out to that place. I told them I was going back to the city. But I cannot even do it right now. I'm, I'm so enraged. I, I I I don't think I can even drive. My love, that's what I'll do. That's exactly what I'll do. I'll just check into a hotel and rest, and then tomorrow I'll set out for the city. Okay. All right, my love. I'll, I'll call you back once I get somewhere to stay. Okay. You take care of yourself, all right? All right, later. Take a second wife. No. Why not? Polygamy is a no for me. My late father was only married to my mother. My grandfather was only married to my grandmother. It's not going to change in my own time. So I've been considering other alternatives. And I think we should try IVF. I discussed it with Dr. Michelle. And uh, she says that is our best bet to end this frustrating situation. I've been thinking about it too. I hear you. So you have accepted, right? Yes, babe. I love you very much. I love you so much. One more thing. No one else must hear about this. Okay? Okay. This must be between us and Dr. Michelle. Absolutely. From the soles of her feet up to the top of her head, she is the epitome of beauty and grace. With tears in her eyes, pain in her heart. She never bears no grudge She's ready to love Whenever, however, wherever it Hi, Doctor. She's ready to have yeah, I'm fine. How are you? Wherever, yeah, she's fine. <laughs> How's the family? Okay, um... My wife and I are thinking of coming to see you in the hospital tomorrow. There's something very important we would like to discuss with you. So, um, I don't know, what is your itinerary like? Is um, 9 a.m. fine with you? Okay, then 9 a.m. it is. See you tomorrow. All right, good. Stop. You 
hardly call me these days. Like, I'm sorry, my friend. But my mother-in-law has been with us. Well, I understand. You know, I don't blame your mother-in-law for what she's doing. That's what she's supposed to do now. Hmm. No, do you know the worst part is that this woman married a wife for my husband? Eh? Hey! Hey! Huh? You mean Herod now has a second wife? No, I didn't. Uh -uh. No, I didn't allow her to stay in the house. Huh. Both I and my husband we refused. We sent her back to the village immediately. Hey. We didn't allow her to spend the night in the house. So, under my roof, me. No, now. Huh. No. Thank God, though. Ha. Huh. You, you see, Lucia, you see why I've been telling you that you should consider this IVF of a thing. These people will drive you out, they will throw your things out of your husband's house one day. Hey, guess what? What? I have decided with my husband to go for IVF. So much enemies. Too much enemies. Yes! Yes! <laughs> that is a good start. What is a good start? What you just told me now? What did I just tell you? That you you and your husband has considered going for the IVF. I said that. Uh, why why would I said say say a thing like that when why would I even say a thing like that when I and my husband have not even concluded? Me personally I'm the problem. Uh -uh. I'm the problem. See memory loss or something. I don't get it. You just told me that you both have agreed and now you... I said that. Hey, that's your outfit we kept. We still kept it for you. Do you still want them? Which outfit? The one you chose the last time now. Those talky wears. There's a customer that is showing interest to. I don't want to sell it. Hmm? Well, I think I need them partially. Come on, I know you like it. Do you remember the blue? The blue, the way it fits you. Bring your card, let me collect money. This girl, you want to finish my money? I'm not Bring. the one that asked you to open Butico. Bring your card now, eh, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I come the Nelu. Jesus, ignore the Nala. Jesus, I come to the Lord, baby. What's the celebration for? Baby, God has done it. Really? What? What? Oh, baby, I missed my period. I am pregnant. I am pregnant. Yes, I am pregnant. I am carrying your child, baby. Finally, finally. With a baby, <laughs> can you believe that? Pregnant. Pregnant, pregnant. Yes, 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 baby, I am pregnant. Because she's got a girl. Oh my god, I. <laughs> Thank you, God. Thank you, No more choice for you. Okay? <laughs> you are not going to do anything with girls again. Okay? I will do all the cleaning. I will do all the cooking for you. Whatever you want, I will do it, okay, my love? <laughs> You're having a baby. You're having a baby. Finally! Yeah, okay. ah. I was supposed to be jumping, right? No! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so ecstatic. I am joyous. God has done it. I know. I know it's a twin. <laughs> I believe that. I can feel it inside of me that you're carrying a twin. You are not going to do anything with girls. You're not going to ruin this for me. I want this baby. God, finally. Oh, God. Oh, my 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 God.
It's not favorable. It's not, it's not. But why now? It's supposed to be positive. Why now? I don't know. I don't understand. I have to see Dr. Michelle. What exactly is the result saying? It is negative. It cannot be negative again now. What's going on? For three months, you did not see your menstrual flow. Daily morning sickness, the nausea. The spitting, the vomiting, what was all that for? What now? Ah. What have I done wrong? Why is this happening to me? Why, why me? Why me? Why me? Why is this happening to me? I just... I don't know. <laughs> And Mrs. Kechuko, the result of the scan is out. So, um, what does the result say? Is it positive or negative? The result of the test is not favorable at all. How do you mean, Doctor? There is no pregnancy. It's a lie. I am three months pregnant. Talk to Michelle. It's it's a prank, right? It, it like you you're joking, right? No jokes. I am surprised myself. Please, doctor. If I am not pregnant, what did happen to my monthly flow? That is strange to us. We are still researching on that. But I promise you, we are going to do something to retrieve your monthly flow.
case you you have to take it easy. Don't be too hard on yourselves, okay? Harold, <laughs> please, you have to be a man. Lucia, take it easy, okay? <laughs> I'm here with you, it's fine. It's just a bad dream, okay? Yes. It's just a bad dream, calm down. Calm down. Baby. Yeah? It was so scary. Okay, tell me about it. I, I, I saw myself carrying a baby. Standing beside a well. And then I saw Kesta. He snatched the baby from me and pushed me into the well. Kesta. Oh, yes. Baby. Yes, my love. Do you think Kesta could be responsible for our childlessness? Huh? Oh my god. What? Oh my god. I remember I had an encounter with a madman. One of those days I was coming back from the hospital. What kind of encounter? Maybe he called me by my name. Look, babe. And you're sure that prior to him calling your name, while you guys were discussing, you did not mention my name? Yes. No! No, I, I, I remember vividly. I, I, I never mentioned my name. He called me Lucia. And then he, he asked me for 100 naira. I remember I didn't have 100 naira in my bag. I had 1,000 naira and I gave it to him. As he was about to leave, he turned and said to me, Beware of your friends. Yes, he said it. He said it, and baby. you did not think it wise to tell me this. Oh my God, I forgot. I forgot. Oh my God. Kesta, Kesta, why? Why, why is Kesta doing this to me? Why is he doing this to us? Let's not jump into hasty conclusions yet. <sighs> Don't do that. Come. It's just a dream. <sighs> Scary. I know. Nothing will happen. Okay. Her eyes, pain in her heart. She never bears no grudge. She's ready to love whenever, however, wherever it takes. She's ready to help her wherever, however, whoever. Nobody deserves this. Nobody deserves this. Nobody deserves to be treated this way. Nobody can take this, nobody can take this, nobody can take this and lie away. Whoa. I honestly do not know what to make of this. You appear pregnant, but Scan says otherwise. I am as confused as you are. This is really, really killing me. Like Doctor Michelle says, you're not pregnant, but you only have a bloated tummy. How is that even possible? If the scan says you're not pregnant, then what do you have in your tummy? If you do not have children in there, what exactly is in your tummy? I don't know. 
They say I am not pregnant. But I feel all the signs of pregnancy. Yeah, come in! That is not true. Obviously, you are pregnant. Okay? Sis, calm down. Look at me. Just look at me. You are a strong woman. Okay? I've seen you do things and you've done them successfully. This too shall pass. God will surprise you and shock your enemies the more. Doing some thinking lately. Okay, what is it? You know, my pregnancy is getting to nine months. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I would need help around the house. My goodness. Gosh, it's like you are you've been inside my head. I've been thinking about the same thing too. Oh yeah? Yeah. See? Husband and wife thinking. Always thinking the same thing. <laughs> same I know, right? <laughs> So, uh, is there someone you have in mind? Because I know your sister is totally out of it. Mm -hmm. That one is a busy time. Regina. Why Regina? Because Regina is my closest friend. She will take care of me. <sighs> okay. Well, if you say so, the only problem now is... Do you think she would want to move in with us? Mm -mm. Leave that to me. I'll pick her. She will. You sure? Yes. <laughs> okay, my love. Thank you. You're welcome. You're always welcome. Anything for you, my love. <laughs> uh. Oh. What? What is it? It's not you me. are not about to ask for something it's else. It's the baby, it's not me. Hmm? Okay, what does the baby want again? Baby is saying he wants suya. Su what? Suya. Su. Yeah. Suya. Yeah. Suya. Yeah. No problem, I'll get to see ya. It's wild. It's wild. No problem, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> She 
Nothing has changed. You mean there's no sign of liberty now? None at all. Your sister is gradually going down. God forbid, Auntie Gina. I don't know, I think this is not ordinary. This this is not it's not good. I feel this is not ordinary. Yes. This pain is too much. Divina, nothing is certain. I know that God is going to fix this. Whoever that has a hand in whatever that is wrong with my sister will definitely be exposed. Amen. Amen. This is too much for one person. Did you know how long has she been like this? I told you over the phone. She has been like this for a while now. No improvement at all. Auntie Gina, I must say thank you to you. Thank you so much for accepting to move in with them. At least to keep an eye on her. Thank you so much. I can't thank you enough. You don't need to thank me. I am like a sister to her. Auntie Gina, I know. Even at that, I still have to thank you. Thank you so much and God bless you. Thank you. You're welcome. Please keep taking care of her for me. Anyways, I'm spending the night here. I'll be staying with you guys tonight. That's fine. Let me check something I was doing. It's fine. Trying to force myself to sleep while you cut me shut deep. from my shoulder and walk properly now. Stop embarrassing me here. Ah. It insults me. Yeah? It insults me very well. It's not your fault. Don't blame you. You know the high is not for you. Every time you keep on buying it. Eh? See how you see the way you're embarrassing yourself. Stop buying high eyes. High is not for you. But no, you want to you want to be a standing. You are the one that is taller than everybody. You want to just be Okuro or Karisia. Mm, jealousy. Jealous, you are just jealous that I'm taller and finer than you. Please remove this thing you now. I walk barefooted. Wait, I, I should remove this. I should, I should walk bare, barefooted. Yes, now it's not better than walking like a cock. I don't know why this. It's not better. God, God, you are seeing this, my friend. If you can just send me one helper, one lift, one very fine canal that will just help me home. Hey. So far, is not good for me. So, so this fine. is what is hungering you, Abby? You are just looking for a fine car that will come and carry you. You don't even know that those men that drive fine cars, they are ritualists. Mm -hmm. So they will come and pack her, you will not enter. They will use it for blood money. So shall they take me home first, Abby? How's your uncle? They will take us home. Go and go. 
What you want to enter fine car? Who want to enter fine car? Look at this girl, don't go for me inside Gota. I don't have strength, I've not eaten, no. Stop now. You are walking slow, slow. You are walking too fast now. Walk now. You said she walks more smooth than walking too fast. Now walking smooth more, you said she walk. Oh. Well, which one is your home? Just walk moderate. No, my baby. Since you are falling, two of us will fall today. Hey! You should go and bring her. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. you see her now. Oh. Okay. Now, what kind of friend are you? Hey, beautiful. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, I could tell you were struggling to walk with your shoes. Is everything okay? My shoe really hurts. It's it's uncomfortable. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Um, can we get a ride in your car? Oh yeah. You are who? It's fine. Wherever you want to go, I'll take you to. Come on, hop in. Are you sure? I'm very sure about it. Come on, let's go. Uh, hey, thank you, thank you. So hey, so sorry, oh, sorry, brother. Sorry, darling. Thank you. So thank sorry. You. Thank you, brother. Uh, no, no, don't call me, brother. Call me Harold. Okay, thank you, brother Harold. No, no, just Harold. Harold is fine. Thank you, Harold. You look very beautiful. <laughs> thank you. So, um, hop in. Let's go. Come this way. Let's go. Yeah, I'm good. Do you know if he's a ritualist? If you remember that I said a prayer a while ago, I said God should send a helper. This is the helper. Enter the camera. You are the go. one that prayed. I did not join you in praying. Hello, sorry. Like, look, I, I'm not a ritualist. I just want to help you and your friend, okay? Everything is fine. Just calm down. Okay? I did not join you in prayer. Hello, relax. Come on, just calm down. Hey, 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 sorry, you, you can come this way. Do you want me to do to her this time? Do you want her dead? No, 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 no. Please, I don't want to kill anybody. Please, no, 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 no. 
please, I don't stain my hands with blood. I want you to make her suffer. She must not have a child. She won't hear a cry of a child in her house. Never. I heard that mother-in-law has gone to marry another wife for her son. But that one is not enough for me. I want her to suffer very well. I want her to be humiliated in that marriage. What exactly do you want? I want you to make sure that IVF does not work. I will do exactly as you say. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know my price. Uh -uh. Akmiti, are you the one talking like this? Have I ever owed you for one day? Money is not the problem. I just want you to do a very clean job for me. Since her period, I don't want that IVF to work. That IVF must not work. I will do that mm -hmm. which you seek for. Why was on the road? said I want to tell him. said I want to tell him. I saw a boy. I knew it came from a good boy. I feel my cousin here, Tom. Call her name three times. Lucia. 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 A pity. There is problem. Speak. I thought you said you blocked her womb. How come she's pregnant? Are you sure about this? I am very sure. She can never be pregnant. She is pregnant, Apiti. I saw her with this my two eyes. She is pregnant. Heavily pregnant. Ha! Apiti, she must not give birth to that child. I, have, I, I don't know whether your something is not working again. Please, so you have to do something. Eh? She must not give it to that child. I will not agree, oh, because this is what I told you right from time, and you assured me. Now it's like your assurance is not failing, no. Ha! There is no cause for alarm. Ah, why, bo? At the Mario, who did the egg? I'm get there. Are you aware? I can't believe what I'm about to get from you. Hmm. Take this bead. What? What am I to do with this bead? Wear it on your wrist. What? What? What am I? What is this used for? I don't understand. As long as you have that bead on your wrist. She can never put to bed. For the day she does, you shall run mad. <laughs> now go. Go. I'm not 
Sit down here, I will not go anywhere. Come and pursue me. Look at his tongue. Look at his mouth. Nonsense person. You are telling me who you are. Who you are. Who you are. Who you are. It's only you that know how to do. When we are here just now, when she, when she gives belly, she is not born to children. You do not do anything but me that, that I'm here. I did not born to children. You are doing me. You are doing me. You said that we do you. you as you do me, oh God, you do you, you do your own. You want to bite my nose? God will bite your nose. You will not bite my nose. Nonsense, wicked person. Uh, you are not my friend again. I will just get out of here. You are not my friend. We can't so. You are not my friend. I want to go and meet somebody that will not disappoint me. You disappoint me. Don't come and 
From the shush of her feet uh, to the top of her head She is the epitome of beauty and grace With tears in her eyes, pain in her heart She never bears no grudge, she's ready to love Ready to help her Wherever, however, whoever You are She will never, ever, ever disappoint Cause she's got a good heart Nobody Nobody deserves this Nobody deserves to be treated this way No, she don't deserve this No, she don't deserve this No, she don't deserve to be treated this way Still be treated this way Nobody can